Wasted Potential Podcast is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Steampunk Stanford of the Steampunk Stanford Steampunk Station and Emporium. Here at the Steampunk Station and Emporium, we have so much steampunk stuff that we simply don't know what to do with it. I guess cosplay? Design a creepy room for a teenager that will ultimately get them on a school shooter watch list? Or lead art designer for a video game company? Well, come on down and take a look at our metal hats, bronze dildos, rusted silver spoons, titanium spikes for toddlers, and other nightmare trash. At Steampunk Stanford, Steampunk Station, and Emporium, we have a bunch of silly shit. Waste Potential Podcast is brought to you by... Coming soon to Netflix. With cultural phenomena like Too Hot to Handle, The Ultimatum, and Love is Blind, and whatever stupid shit we can get Nick Lachey and his wife to sign on to, comes a show steeped in the classics. When men were men... And women were not allowed to speak unless spoken to. Man talk. Comes a show where a bunch of single, random, hot, fake titted influencers and promoters of some bullshit pyramid scheme. Hi, I'm Chloe. I'm 20 years old. I'm quite ditzy as well, so you've just got to be really patient with me. Because <laughs> I'm not the brightest spark um, in the book. Do these young, fine women have what it takes to make some extraordinary gentlemen fall in love with them? Find out in our new show, starring gentlemen such as Jack the Panty Ripper, Alexander in all his greatness, Jengis the King Khan, and Ivan the Not-So-Terrible on the Eyes. Let's see if modern love has what it takes to attract extraordinary men. And I'm not the man I once was. Hello. You're probably wondering why I've brought you all here today to the Waste Potential Podcast. I've brought three extraordinary gentlemen to review one of the most horrifying and World War starting movies ever created. To my left, virtually, Reginald. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Cut that! Oh, no names! <laughs> you suck so bad. I didn't even process that. I wasn't even thinking. I was, I was like, toning, like zoning out. So I was just like, ignoring you. We have to wear left Reginald, whose power to be snarky and completely boring is unmatched. <laughs> to to her right a sheriff of highest prowess leader of the Woodsboro coat and homeless man extraordinaire <laughs> Daniel and of course myself I don't know I don't know what I do other than talk Shane I do I I do eat, and I am quite drunk. I've been drinking since 5 a.m. in preparation for this meeting. You're a drunken asshole. All right. <clears throat> I can't I can't, I can't. can't stop yeah. anymore. Here we go. Roddy, take it away. It's your movie. You're <laughs> supposed to introduce us. What are we watching today? And Stewie Griffin is here to host us. Welcome to Wasted Potential Podcast. I am Ronnie, and with me as usual is my co-host, Shane, who I'm actively trying to replace. <laughs> actively. I keep killing them. <laughs> <laughs> and with us, our not-so-special special guest, Dan is back. Hi, Dan. What's going on, gentlemen? Thanks for having me once again. Yeah, we're happy to find you. Um, it was hard to locate you underneath the different bridges. There's a lot of homeless these days, but um, what's been going on with you? Especially in Madison County, where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I've actually been um, backpacking through uh, different countries the past like four or five months you know um my latest one ukraine <laughs> that's a uh, actually a pretty beautiful country i'm not gonna lie but uh not many tourists you would think right you think they're more touristy but uh you think miami's got a crazy nightlife ukraine's got a crazy nightlife but um back back it was nice though it got me some time to listen to some podcasts you know catch up on this piece of shit podcast um mm -hmm. one very Big and very dumb podcast I like to shout out is, um, have you ever heard of it? The Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> that one's not bad. 
Um, another one is uh, even bigger and dumber is the Glenn Beck podcast. <laughs> we catch up on that one as well. <laughs> but the most big and most dumb gosh damn podcast is the Big Dumb Movie podcast, of course. Have you listened to their most recent podcast, guys? I have not. Oh my god! All I gotta say is the the biggest and dumbest balls on them to come after me <laughs> after I've been like the biggest supporter for the past several weeks or so <laughs> and they're gonna come attack me i was gonna bring like all my entire ferret fan club group to listen to them all 12 of us but no you had to go and ruin that oh and by the way i'm i'm not a clown for the last time okay and guess what i'm not homeless anymore you know why i'm not homeless anymore because i'm living rent free in your bitch ass's head <laughs> right now That was the uh, that was a public service announcement from the insane clown pod. Fair f club. Oh my god. Oh, you gotta bleep that one. God, I am just getting after it. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing a great job, bud. Oh. Sorry about that little rant. I think I needed to get it out of my chest. Ugh. Kanye would be proud. Okay, well, we are firing all stupid cylinders today. I can't talk. Shane's out of his mind and dropping <laughs> bombs, and, and Shane and Danny's firing all cylinders. Here we go. Okay, our signature drink for this week is called the Gunfire. It's a simple morning drink of one part black tea and one shot of rum. So that will get your jowls and moving in the morning. I thought it was going to be the Sean Shottery Speak where you drink and then someone slaps you. <laughs> but you have to be a woman first. <laughs> yeah, only if you're a girl. I almost, I almost did the uh, the Scottish whis uh, Scottish coffee, but I was like, that's a lot. Okay, um, Waste of Potential Podcast, we always have drinking games, so keep drinking along with us. So my drinking game for the week is... Anytime this movie about literary characters does literary references. So we will be drinking heavily yeah. today. So strap on in, boys. Or we'll follow the rule for like two times and then forget that we are doing a drinking game and then just bitch and banter the entire time. Chaos. Well, what's your drinking game this week, Shane? Uh, my drinking game this week is going to be uh, every time a character verbally explains what's going on on screen. <laughs> it happens a lot. It the director does not trust the audience to understand what their eyes are seeing. Okay, um, I got some trivia. And as we start this off here, thank you if you're listening to this. Uh, follow us on Instagram, uh, Twitter. Find us on uh, Patreon if you think that this is worth any money, which it's not. And finally, and of course, please keep sending in your resumes to the Woodsboro Sheriff Department. Dan is actively <laughs> fingering through those and fingering the... Um, Candidates... Yeah. Yep. Figuring the pulse of the uh, resumes, right? As, yeah. we, as we speak. You can solve Fair fun and crimes such as shop cart theft and murder. <laughs> <laughs> Check out our screen podcast. Okay. Um, we are going to start at where the 20th Century Fox logo is burning is out, like which is like 19 seconds to show. There we go. Okay. Are you ready, boys? Three. No. Two. One. Go. Wow, that was like the easiest, like nicest way of like countdown, Shane. Nice job. Oh, I haven't been playing it. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> um, but we're recording the entire time. So the first thing it brings up, because I'm watching it on some sort of streaming service, is it gives me a little trivia, and it says all the movies that Sean Connery said no to to do this one. <laughs> oh God damn! Oh, <laughs> turn off your trivia, then all asshole. Right, turn off the trivia. All right. Okay. So then I'll ask Danny the first shot or not here, since Shane's already ruined this. I've done as some we get... research already. I've done some research, so I got I got you. I might be a little stumping some things, but probably not. I'm a dr okay. I've been drinking since. You like, told us yesterday. to prepare. Okay. Well, this is, this is a, well, thanks. Well, this is 2003's um, movie, and it's based on a graphic novel, in case you didn't know that, of the same title. And they start us off with actual, like, comic book, like, titles going through. But here's my first shot or not. Sean Connery was offered roles in The Matrix and Lord of the Rings, but turned it down for this because he didn't understand the scripts. True or false? That is true. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that is very true. <laughs> so I don't get it. Why are they so short? <laughs> <laughs> I did a spit take. Oh, my God. Um, thanks, Shane. That was good. That's all over my I my, don't um, like their laptop. feet. <laughs> okay. So here's my theory. So... Sean Connors offered the roles and didn't understand. He, I, I actually watched an interview with him 
which I miss old school interviews with, with like they would get combative. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, everyone's all smiling and talkative, but Sean Connery was getting a little, little frisky with the guy. Oh, this is the, the Austin Powers opening yep. with the uh, the guy telling him to stop the steamroller. <laughs> stop. <laughs> God, British cops are so fucking useless. I love this word. opening scene. They're just like <laughs> hitting it. Like this is so fucking yeah. stupid. They're taking over the Bank of England. Also, um, I don't know if you guys have ever watched like the old timey footage of like the original tanks. They were not this agile. That thing would have got so much would have got caught in the track of that thing. No, this uh this miniature. And it would have been quickly. spewing fucking coal. <laughs> 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 Than be for real Victorian yeah. England, but um, back to my theory. So Sean Connery was saying I didn't really understand it. I talked to Lawrence Fishburne, didn't get the Matrix. Lord of the Rings was 18 months of shooting. He didn't really want to do that because he's an old fucker at this mm-hmm. time. And but then here's my theory. He said he read the script for this and didn't get it. But then he went home and read the graphic novel. What I think he read was his agent said, "We'll get you a bunch of money." Give you a producer credit on this, and then you can yeah. retire. Mm. I saw the executive so, producer like title. I'm like, ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yes. So, do you guys want to guess for the real shot or not? How much money they paid Sean Connery to be in this? And and let me tell you this: the budget is eighty million, but guess how much they paid him? Nineteen million. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna say that. I want to say um, twelve. It was seventeen million dollars. Damn. God. So I'm gonna give that one to Shane. Yeah, I will do so the I'm guessing that they, they were able to like coerce Twenty Century Fox to give him a bunch of money and then he's like, Okay, I can get a proof of credit, make a bunch of money because they off is originally just be a franchise, which I'll get to later. So I, th- I think Sean Connery thought it was gonna go places and we'll get to why I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Finally I can do this stupid movie and get drunk and not work anymore. <laughs> Okay, what time what time stamp is this, Danny? It's f- four what? zero. Is that first five, five minutes? Yeah, yeah within the first five minutes. Oh no, he yeah he did it in the in the the, the horrible ad. Ah, okay, whatever. So then, so then, do I win? I don't know. I think we. Oh both win. I, yeah, I me mean, me me okay. me me me. <laughs> we had a side bit to see how long until you did a Sean Connery. Oh action. come on, man! Of course. <laughs> come on, son. By the way, this well, is we the, the slowest. Bet fucking missile in the face of the it's earth it's supposed to be a it's not even a it's missile to be a it's got like a missile i guess yeah it's, it's got a, it's, it's supposed to like be a string but why would you bother just shooting a regular missile I, this whole thing is stupid it, it's just... well this whole plot's stupid i like the idea behind this yeah the graphic novel say, but would... yeah go ahead. yeah we yeah but like this whole like boring doomsday plot is like boring. let's let's dig into this a little bit because it's like i wonder if the graphic novel's any good like, I can get into that a little bit later. The, the concept is kind of dumb, but a little bit fun. Yes. So I'm like, okay, all the people in this are literary characters. Okay. But then they cast a bunch of people that are stiffer than the beams that held up the towers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, God. Well, like, we, we talked about how much it costs for Sean Connery. <laughs> so like they burned a quarter of their budget on Sean Connery, which is that's a good, I'll get that's to a good later. Yeah. It's, it's why the narrative is so tied around him because the original graphic novel, which did a lot of research, I haven't finished it yet, but I was reading a lot about the backstory and I started mm-hmm. it. It's not even about Alan Quartermain, but they 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 kind of shoehorned it around him because oh really they paid him so much. Yeah, who's who are like the literary characters that it's around. Well, like, all the characters in this, they add some other ones, but the main ones are the main ones, but do you want to guess who the main, like, protagonist who starts League of Extraordinary Gentlemen is of all the characters? Give me a second. Sherlock Holmes. You guess who, Dan? Oh, uh, Van Helsing. God damn it. No, it's the characters in the goddamn movie. It's about, um, um, Mina, uh, Mina, um, what's her last name? Um, Harker? The Kelly. Dracula character. Yeah, Mina Harker. Uh, Harker, yeah. She's the one who actually starts it and wrangles all these characters. But they they very make her not a character. <laughs> yeah, they very quickly her write her out. Yeah. And they make her a vampire because she's boring. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was so like, I don't we... remember her being a vampire in, in the Dracula story. 
she was. Um, well, Dracula bites her mm. in the original because okay, so on the original one, like he bites her because Dracula ends in love with her right. and she falls for him, which is kind of the whole point of it. But uh, no, I don't think she's a vampire. She says, anymore, "I don't, actually. I don't love you, Keanu Reeves." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I thoroughly enjoy that version. Um, this movie is missing Van Helsing. You're like, she's like, we went <laughs> with a man named Van Helsing because you know we don't know the Dracula story apparently, but. <laughs> um, I'm like, why isn't Van Helsing in this? He'd be perfect for this group. Uh, there's like a ton of literary characters. I'm like, Harry Potter okay. would be excellent. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put some okay. hobbits in his bitch. We got it. We're good. Okay. So Alan Quartermain, literary character drink. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. He's from um, the King's Gold Mines, something like that. King Solomon's Mines. There we yes. go. Yeah. I'm proud to say yeah, I've read seventy five percent of the books that these characters are referenced from. I'm I have not read most of them, but I'm fully aware of them. I have not read the picture of Dorian musings. Gray. I have not read that one either. But um, his character's dumb. <laughs> All these characters. I, are I like dumb. the idea uh, of using him, but he's not in the original graphic novel. They added him because they wanted another villain. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, so, so I like this concept and idea, and I, I know we, I just did a drunken rant about the Batman for like 25 minutes in our last podcast, <laughs> and I'm tired of comic book movies. <laughs> this is one I actually would want to see again, because I, I thoroughly enjoy Alan Moore. He's weird. Yeah. Oh, so Alan yeah, Moore so wrote this... the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? God. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense, because he is referenced a couple times. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ. So this is one of my questions later, but maybe we can start like with like Sean Connery. If they did a re like a remake of this, who would you have play quarter as Quartermain now? Pierce Brosnan. It's oh, pretty good. I thought about that. I actually thought about that question mm -hmm. while I was doing it because I was like, "Man, what if they did make a sequel?" And I was like, "Who would play Alan Quartermain?" And mm -hmm. I'm like, "I think Pierce Brosnan would be my pick." Okay. okay well, so. Bones? So at, real Adam, Adam Quartermain doesn't like do this fighting and like fist punching. No. He's old and like dying. He's like in the graphic novel he becomes immortal because the whole reference here to later mm -hmm. when this is like the Africans won't let him die. <laughs> He's actually immortal. They won't let me die. <laughs> we don't. We don't want this white person to die. Yeah, of course. That probably took our land. It's Shit. South Africa. Come on, apartheid. Okay. Um. But um. But but yeah, I would say Pierce Brosnan or. Who's another old Brit? Um, Daniel Craig. Oh, uh, Christopher. Oh, Christopher Plummer just died too. Never mind. Yeah, he died. Michael Gambon. Oh, um, Alfred. Oh, Michael Caine. Michael fucking Caine. Mm, How did I mention yeah, Michael Caine? Yeah, Alfred. He's really <laughs> old though. I just, yeah. I just want to die. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kill the me. The Africans won't let me. <laughs> Master Bruce, I just want to die. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah but, but all this is all. I was going to say, this is missing Batman, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, the, this they, is missing um, a lot of things. I, so, I don't think it was more, but but one of the graphic novels has Batman fighting Jack the Ripper. Oh, I've heard of that. Not... Yeah, I can't remember if it's... I don't think it's more. It's more to the killing joke, mm -hmm. so I don't remember who it did, but they did a run on it. And okay. obviously, okay. guess who the uh, guess who Jack the Ripper would be of all Batman villains? Joker? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Um, it's always the Joker. It always is. So I was gonna guess. I was gonna guess Catwoman, but that's okay. This movie d demonstrates really quick why what the problem with it is. There's no blood. You want to do this action? Yes, but you want to do yes, this okay. action movie that's like Queen. A you know we're a big action <laughs> fucking movie. We should have done all of its one liners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was one of my things. But then I lost. I like I stopped cat like. Paying attention like halfway through this movie last night. Yeah. But they cat <laughs> they go, you know what this action oh, movie needs? Bomb. Oh yeah. An old uh old white guy. Like Sean Connery doesn't do action. And actually none of these actors do action. Like I was thinking how awesome this movie would be if Jackie Chan was in it. Like, fuck <clears throat> yeah, that'd be badass. So <laughs> in the original story. In the original storyline by Moore, there is a bad guy, 
Dr. Fu Manchu, which is from an old literary <laughs> thing. And uh, and I won't I won't get into the plot yet, but I don't know. Is that too racist to cast Jackie Chan as Dr. Fu Manchu? If I could get Jackie Chan in this film, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, we also gotta remember this. These are all 19th century literary works. So they're all not really progressive and open-minded <laughs> and diverse. So you have to kind of accept yeah. that reality of, like, white people wrote novels during this time period, and you only get white people. Oh, I don't care. I'm, drunk I just, old white people wrote novels. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. They were all drunk. Um, but, but, yeah, but once again, like, like I can I understand literature, but nowadays they, they would try to make it really diverse, which is whatever. They can do what they fucking want to, but you really can't do this. Because, for example, there was a... In the works a few years ago to do an, like an all female cast of this, I guess this, this is like the prototype mm. Ghostbusters because they wanted to what make it more female female, action female. literary oh, from the 19th. Jane Eyre. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, Pride <laughs> and Prejudice. But like once you said all these characters aren't action characters, mm. they'd make them action characters. They, they made Pride and Prejudice and zombies. That movie kicked ass. You mean Bridgerton? Bridgerton. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Skywalker's We're... not in this. <laughs> a lightsaber? What the fuck is a lightsaber? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Put dude. your glowing girl away. <laughs> <laughs> um, we should do a movie that takes, like, big movie characters and puts them in one. So we'll have Gandalf, Luke Skywalker, <laughs> Thor. Well, <laughs> well you sound, it sounds like one of the first, like, dumbass, like, YouTube videos i used to do they just put random characters or <laughs> and we'll have, J we'll have jason Bourne. <laughs> oh like trashy american ones and and they have to stop the u.s president <laughs> or something stupid oh so 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 it's like a so it's like a, a jack ryan novel just get all the jack ryan kind yeah of but with gandalf as jack ryan <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you shall not pass a bill in congress um so I did watch before this too. I I took I did a little Connery binge and I watched the Red for or the Hunt for Red October. Mm. Damn good okay. movie. Alec Baldwin is so um, young, but you know what's crazy about that movie? Was that Steven? Like, nothing... I thought it was Steven. It was Alec. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> There's <laughs> only one well, Baldwin well, that's well, successful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Well. At this time, Alec was like skinnier and didn't murder someone, so he looks a little different. <laughs> Oh Hot take. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Come ago. after me, Alec. Almost. Ugh. Um. Okay. Um. I had something for this. Connery hams it up though. In the. Oh yeah. Go ahead. No. 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 Connery is the main attraction here because they spent all this time on him. What? By the what? way, how big is this goddamn room? He's walking in it for like <laughs> sixteen minutes to get in there. Okay. So here's my biggest complaint. We mentioned it already, but I'm gonna dive into this before we get to the shutter nap. I really don't like the villain. No. The villain is so boring because it the doesn't Phantom? make sense Come to on, me. Come on, Ron. You like the Phantom? I, in theory, I could, but I just don't get why he's Moriarty and he's setting this up. Oh, it's like, spoiler it's like alert. the stupidest plot. God, you oh, son drink, of a bitch. Drink, drink, he's M, which is a reference to Ian Fleming. Yeah. No, he's also James Moriarty, too, so it's two. Drink yep. twice. You sons of Annie's bitch. And he's Phantom, which is in reference to the Phantom of the Opera. Dun, 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 no, dun, dun, it's dun. not. It's spilled with an F, Shane. Come on. <laughs> you know, my dumb ass, <laughs> when, I, when I watched That's this, I was like, Fan of the Opera was written by Andrew Lloyd Webber, like, in the 80s, I think. I was like, what? And I was like, wait, it's based on, like, an old-ass novel. I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, and it's an old-ass movie, too. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I am 62 years old. I don't know any of these references. I mean, I should have read when I was younger. So, God damn Captain it. Nemo. <laughs> this is in reference to Moby Dick? Uh, 10,000 Leagues Oh, uh, you're right, you're right. But then we have Ishmael from Moby Dick. Yes, that's a different reference. <laughs> like, literally every line's a reference, dude. Like, there's this so This is many. literary vomit. Oh, drink. He said how, he said how <laughs> operatic. Yeah. Hmm. Not into parish. <laughs> it's Amish. <laughs> My <laughs> God, you so have women in this that... team. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's basically what he says, dude. And you <laughs> know <laughs> too <laughs> that Connery went off script for this. He was like, "Oh, hello, fancy lady." <laughs> I'll take a scotch, yeah. neat please. Oh, good, the waitress is here. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have clothes on. What are you doing? Or he thought she was the craft service lady. He's like, get the fuck off scene. <laughs> <laughs> he's, then he's going to do a Christian God Bale damn it, this movie's called Gentlemen, not Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, By the way, uh, the shout out to Ronnie. What's uh, the actor's name playing the not Phantom? Uh, he played Dracula in Van Helsing. Oh no no, no 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 no! Oh, uh, so let's um Richard Roxborough. Good job. I was gonna ask you guys for that later. I think he's also scene? in Moulin Rouge. I'm almost positive he is in Moulin Rouge for sure. I fucking hate Moulin Rouge. He's the bad guy who wants it, to I rape Nicole rabies. Kidman. <laughs> That's not him. Is that really? I him? would I would gamble. Let's do it. You get you look a at a friendly that wager. Okay, so this is the Invisible Man. Alan. The invisible Alan. Man. Alan! <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Uh, Alan, stop fingering my asshole. Right. <laughs> shut or not. All the characters in the film, all but one, Alan Quartermain, have fallen into the public domain and can be used freely when writing. True or false? Can you repeat I'll that? i say Sorry. that's true. Wait. They're old enough. All the characters in the film, besides Alan Quartermain, Sean Connery here, have fallen into the public domain and can be used freely to write about in like movies and authors and whatever. All? Ooh, it's a tough... All of them? Uh, I'm going to say false. It is false. Do you want to guess yes. which character is not in the public domain? All of them but one. M? Uh, <laughs> it's 20th Century Fox. They tried to do... It's Invisible Man, right? Good. Oh. Good job. Yeah. The Invisible Man yeah. was not in the public domain, so... Yes. So they don't call him the Invisible Man. They they say the scientist who who, who invented it yeah. died and he stole it. So, Drink Harker. This is uh, what's this guy's Dracula. name? Wow. Richard Foxborough. Uh, Richard Roxborough. Roxborough. That's it. Night the Roxbury. Exactly. Night the Roxborough. Yes. Yeah. Van Helsing's his top credit, so this may not be looking good. No, oh, he's, he is a, in he's like a stage he's actor. He's the Duke. Oh, nice job. Boom. Nice job. I, I'll, I'll drink for that then. He's in the Duchess. <laughs> yeah, and so we've assembled our League of Gentlemen and Lady, and now we will be taking on... Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, so this is probably my biggest gripe when I was yelling at the TV mm -hmm. last night. Um, <laughs> like a drunken bastard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a clown, not a homeless Drink drunken bastard. Mm -hmm. But, um, Captain Nemo has a shit ton of money. Uh, he has an automobile, which a fancy ass one. Why can't he, and he's got a fucking cruise ship later on, why can't he just build his own shit and battle the Phantom? So, in the original novel for 20 Leagues, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, um, the Captain Nemo. And the movie's played by a white guy, but in the actual <laughs> novel, he's an Indian prince who is kidnapped and, like, forced into work. So oh he has, God. he's got mommy and daddy money. Mm. Yeah, but why doesn't he just start building his own tanks and fight the Phantom? Like, Well, he's got, like, a whole crew, man. He's just, like, yeah. the, he's, he's, he's like the Batman. He has all the because money. Because we need like a movie, money. God damn it. <laughs> yes. Um, I was just thinking about the mechanics of this car. When you have two wheels in the front mm. like that, I'm assuming it's front wheel drive. How do you turn that cocksucker? It must oh, turn well, like a well, boat. <laughs> well, ask. I just ask Shane West later on as you're driving through fucking Venice. Dude, Tom Sawyer. Exactly, the worst and, and, and he's character. turning that wheel really hard. And he's not going left or right. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, and you went. Yeah, you went straight for about. 15 minutes. Oh, this is the, the <clears throat> scene, too, where he's like, I've had many wives and lovers. I'm not interested in oh, your yeah. poo nanny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I it's shrapped funny. them all. It's, it's funny in the uh, in this that they make uh, the Invisible Man kind of like the, the, the innuendo guy. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if it's in Dr. Hyde or the Invisible Man. One of them is a rapist. I don't remember which one it is. Um, is there Alan Moore yeah. and Kevin O'Neill yeah. are the authors right there. Um, th this is one I'll of my... Shot or nots later on, but it actually was the rapist was the invisible man. Right. Invisible man. He was been raping people for a while, but then <laughs> Doctor, uh, sorry, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde ends up raping and killing um, the invisible man like to death later on because he because he tells him I I I've been seeing I I like I know what you've been doing these past years so and I, he ends up just ends up just like raping him and killing him. What? In the, in the this novel. is in the graphic novel. 
Yes, I swear. Look Holy it up. Oh, shit. Well, I don't doubt it. It's Alan Mal Alan Moore likes his rape, so. Yeah, it's like it's it's yeah, it's in there. I looked it up too. Like they they show the pictures online. It's just like uh. they like uh, Doctor Doctor Mister Hyde like like pulls on his pants and says, like, "You like that?" I'm like, "Oh my god!" Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Drink yeah. Dorian Gray. This movie sounds yeah. terrible. Wow. This is like the boys, but literary. But I, I <laughs> yeah. did, I did, I did look it up at like two a.m. So I could be wrong. So, well, in the original novels, one of them is actually a rapist. I, I think it's the Invisible Man because Hollow Man takes a lot from that, mm -hmm. and that's definitely yeah. rapey. Um, yeah, he like touches and like rapes like people, and then supposedly, uh, Doc, whatever the the Beast can like it tells him, oh yeah, I, I can I. Yeah, I can see infrared or some shit like that. I've been, I know, I know what you've been doing this past like several years, and just literally damn. Just like, -ka -ka. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh! Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's in, it's in. <laughs> a little more not afraid to get dark. If you read the Killing Joke or the Watchmen, he doesn't mind. Yeah, I mean, anyone that would write the Watchmen definitely likes rape. I um, love, love the Watchmen, and one day we're gonna watch the movie. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a smorgasbord day. Uh. Dorian, what is his background, Ron? You might know this. Like, he's not a vampire, right? No. No. So in the the novel, he's a, an immortal, and he some kind of curse or like pledge to Satan. Oh. That's his his portrait age, so he can't. That's it's, awesome. It's, it's, it's kind of like a, there's an old short story from like the 1900s or 1800s was like it's called the Immortal Immortal. It's about a scientist who writes makes a post potion to like be immortal forever, and it's kind of like Doctor Faustus type of thing, where it's kind of like selling your soul type of thing. Mm. I didn't know Oscar Wilde wrote. Know all uh, these? I didn't know Oscar Wilde wrote the portrait of Dorian Gray either. Yeah, it's kind of a satir more satirical. Yeah, not like this guy who's like, "I told you I'd nail you." You're like, oh, oh, God. <laughs> like, I think they're really proud of their visual effects for the um, the Invisible Man. You mean you mean the the guy in the green bastard costume? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking invisible guys. <laughs> uh, and somebody's a touching my bum. Yeah, I guess in this he does kind of constantly okay. touch everyone's ass. Like he doesn't disappointed you, Ron, for not getting that reference, or he just didn't want to talk about it. No, I, I get a Homestar Runner. It's a deep fucking. Oh cut. wow, that is deep. That is the deepest. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what Homestar Runner is, email us at podcastpotential. Yeah. At oh my god, that brought so much joy. Jack that was before YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that was before fucking YouTube. Man. You know, the guy in maybe they are Homestar Runner fans because in the end, when there's the other hide <laughs> guy, he has like the one big arm, the one little arm, like Trogdor. <laughs> <laughs> Strong man. <laughs> Strong man. <laughs> okay. So why is he wearing this like fun proto mask and why is he getting fucked up? Thank you. Face? I was about to say. And why is he part German? On the uh... okay, that was that was that was my question. Is is um like, are they from Germany or what? Or like he's just saying he's German because he that's like so... pre escape goat. Uh, I think Richard Roxborough had a hard time keeping the German accents and. This movie was a shit show. Like, oh. We haven't really gotten to this. Like behind the scenes was an absolute shit show, which I'll I get into later. Wonderful. So. I was thinking about ways to fix this film, and I want to take this film and blend it with um, The Kingsman. Because I think that would mix oh, well. Movie. Mm. Where um, there's like this Kingsman society, right, of gentlemen, and yeah. they recruit extraordinary people. So like, you could take these literary characters and bring them in, but... Just that style. Like, maybe I want this movie done by Guy Ritchie, and that's what I really want. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, here's the problem with comic book movies, is you have all these characters. You have to establish them to introduce them. This is what we learned from the Marvel, like, universe. Because mm -hmm. that, that's, that's my second biggest gripe, is there's so many characters that have nothing to do besides to do their thing. There's no, yeah. like, there's no arcs. Like, I'm going to ask you guys later, yeah. who has an arc? No one's got an arc. So it's, it's just kind of like not interesting to me because there's no character development. So it's kind of hard to do. But I like this concept and it works better as a graphic novel because you have time to to build. Yeah. But in two hours, you really can't I'm going to do, do what I always hate to say is this movie would be better as a series. Yeah. Well, when you no, when I, you I, have yeah, a ton sure. of characters like, like this, also, you have to. 
and also like rated R for sure. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Have you? I'm assuming you guys mentioned this. I think you have in previous podcasts, but like the boys, I've heard that's a really good um, like show, and it's R, and it's like really like violent and like things sexual too. I feel like that like that concept. Superman has a mommy complex. <laughs> yeah. So to like to win. I don't know. I'm over comic book shit. Me too. But really, like, The Boys is interesting because it's satirical, and that's what Moore is all about, too, is The Watchmen's all about showing how superheroes are fucking psychopaths. So same thing as, like, The Boys. It's showing, like, how fucked up all this stuff is. So it, it kind of gets its cake and eat it, too. Type mm-hmm. of thing. Yeah. Yep. But, um, when also do you... When do you go, so I have a question for y'all. I tried, I tried to mention earlier, but Shane interrupted me pretty usual. I'll do it but, mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> when when did when did you guys first see this, or like when do you like rem- remember watching this film? So I picked this because I fucking loved this as a kid. I don't really know why. I remember uh, my parents renting it at Blockbuster for me, watching it with my dad. I think brother. I don't remember, but like I watched it like three times in one weekend. I like loved it. I think the action and all the cool characters because I like to read when I was a kid. I didn't I didn't read any of this stuff, but I was like figuring out who these characters were. <laughs> You know, literary character. Yeah. So I like this a lot. I know I saw it very young because I remember being like, who the fuck's the American? Apparently I hadn't read Tom Sawyer yet. <laughs> like, well, that was the one I did read of all yeah, of them. Yeah, I was like, Agent Sawyer, who gives a fuck? I'm like, now I'm like, oh, duh. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was probably late elementary school, like fifth, sixth grade ish. I'm sure it was 2004 for me, so I was young, but uh-huh. I liked, I don't know, I liked all these cool characters. They're all badasses. Mm-hmm. They're all cool. They're exciting, and now I watch as an adult, like, this editing is atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing is I atrocious. Remember it being, I'm, I remember it being a lot more action-packed, and I remember, like, almost, like, falling asleep the other, like, last night watching this. No, it's it's boring action, Dan. <clears throat> like, it, it goes on for yeah. so long, and it's really bad, but, 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 but this is, like... We already mentioned it, I think, before. This is post-Mummy. This is right before Van Helsing, where, like, you know, Universal you know, score, movies are coming back King, with big old action yeah. venture crap. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. So this is obviously not in the original graphic novel, but they did it because she's not a character. Mm-hmm. And I don't get why they don't follow the vampire rules. They have her drink <laughs> blood, but then she does the mirror, the sunlight, everything yep. else. Yeah, because they're like... Eh. I don't want to think about it too much. She's also the only lady on this team, so she's already like an afterthought. <laughs> no, I, I, nah. <laughs> so she's a ki- okay, well, okay, 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 because because her uh, in the actual novel she's a chemist and she introduces the team, but in the actual movie she doesn't do anything. Nothing. So I think they just threw the vampire thing to give her something to do. No, 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 Ron, she's got bats. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. There. So in this action movie, the only person with, okay, I'm going to say good with quotations, uh, choreography, or I'd say any fight choreography is Nemo. And it's yeah. lame. He just swings. Drink Tom Sawyer. He just swings his sword in front of the camera like, like you, yeah. and you're like, oh. I've seen, I've seen better jobs at a, uh, going after a pinata. Yeah. Yeah, I love pinata jobs. I, I don't think Nemo does the, those creepy little squealing sounds that Shane did, <laughs> but he he knew. He he did when he filmed it, and then they had to ADR it after. Like, why <laughs> couldn't they get better action stars or just people that could do action? Because they burned a quarter oh, of their budget. It. on You're Connery. telling me you can't you find a gymnast? Do, <laughs> <laughs> do you think Connery's counting his cash off scene right here? They're just acting. He's like He's one the... one thousand. Oh yeah, two dollars, three dollars. <laughs> Shot or not, right. director Stephen Norrington went on to direct Dracula 3000 and 2010's The Wolfman. True or false? Oh, did he do The Wolfman? No, it's false. With Benicio, The Wolfman with Benicio, right? Yeah. False. He didn't do The Wolfman. False, because he never directed another movie after this ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because Connery almost killed him, probably. So the only movie before... He has two movies before this. One's Blade, surprisingly. Mm-hmm. I didn't know mm-hmm. that. Which wasn't bad. And the other one was yeah. some other piece of shit that's supposed to be really terrible that wasn't distrib- like actually distributed by a movie company. But yeah, he it's, was it's called, so... It's called A Walk to Remember. <laughs> there we go. Um, but <laughs> nice Sean West 
uh, Shane West recommend, um, joke there, Shane, Demi Danny. God damn, I can't talk today. Um, so going back to my conversation <laughs> here, uh, Jonathan Harker, oh, Van Helsing drink. Mm -hmm. So this movie was so bad that, um, yeah. that Norrington gave up on film. He said that he hated it. He hates crowds. He couldn't work with actors. He and Connery were constantly fighting <laughs> on set. There was one, there's one thing in IMDb saying that like, um, they were doing an action shot later in London where they're all walking down the street and, um, and Norrington said, redo it again. And Connery goes, why do it again? And the guy goes, you're getting paid $17 million, Sean. Do it again. Oh. <laughs> they just got into constant fights. <laughs> Apparently, Norrington didn't, it would constantly change scenes and writing and blocking without telling anyone. Oh, so God. I guess he just was in over his head. Sounds good. Sounds, like sounds good. I, I, I just picture him like in his like little like room doing like lines of coke and like this is gonna be great. I'm gonna change it right here. It's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> Look how bad oh, this CGI dude, is. Dude, this of all this the green screen is so bad. But my favorite picture in my head is they're watching the final cut and Sean Connery goes, "I was supposed to be a rich after this, you cocksucker!" <laughs> and he just starts choking <laughs> the director. I'm <laughs> 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 the executive producer, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, well this uh, movie this movie did really well in the box office. No, well not locally. Not locally. It it it, it made its money back um internationally. Yeah, fucking China. But locally man. it made <laughs> Yeah, and locally it made what shit. What was that Shane? Fucking China. <laughs> you heard me. You know what? If if that's what gets us is us mouthing off about China, then okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So drink twice. We have Hyde and the Rue Morgue is mm -hmm. a Edgar Allan Poe mm. reference. Did did you guys ever have sex in high school or just fucking read the entire time? My I God. read a lot about. <laughs> sex. I was a lip major. God damn it! That's all I did was read. Good. I didn't read after high school. That was the last time I read, and I got a college degree. It was amazing. I, <laughs> when I was in high school, I was the only one who actually read, so all my friends cheated off. <laughs> You went to I high school? Like fucking I actually <laughs> like reading. I'm starting to see why you're homeless, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, you jackass. <laughs> Living in your head, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, speaking of which, call back to our last podcast. Yes. Shane, my wife and I just started watching uh, Worst, um, worst roommate, roommate Ever. ever. Yeah. Oh my right. god, dude, I love squatters' rights. This is how Dan has a, has a home. Squatters' <laughs> rights? He literally can stay in a house until you can't leave. <laughs> dude, Dan, uh, watch this. Watch that on Netflix. It's it, They're all short, and you get them pretty quickly, and it's fascinating how fucking insane people oh, are. Oh god, and how you can call it from a mile away. You're like, wow, this is not going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, it's because they... Tar okay. Have you seen the 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 Twitter swindler too? No. The Tinder swindler. Tinder swindler. Yeah, yeah, Tinder, yeah, 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 Tinder swindler. Yeah, watch these that. These yeah. people like prey on the dumbest, saddest people in the world, and that's why they get away for so long. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 that one's that one's pretty fascinating. My favorite thing. Okay, so but we're we're not even talking about movie. this. this we're talking about this, this whole Jerry rig trap here <laughs> that they got somehow got him to. So yeah. Okay, the odds of that actually okay. working are actually Everybody, stop. Oh my god. Why is the hat big? <laughs> if he drinks the candy. potion, did he put on an extraordinarily large hat before he drank the potion? <laughs> Just like, oh, Shane, Shane, you're Shane, you're an idiot. You know that? You know why? Because when he takes the potion, everything, all of his, his hat also expands oh, too. Oh, okay. Like an idiot, Shane. Just yeah. some clothes aren't expando <laughs> clothes, so some rip and some. Not, yeah, not his tie and shirt, but only his hat. He went to Steampunk yeah. Stamp and Steampunk Stamp and the Steampunk <laughs> Emporium <laughs> Station. Now you say it right, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, I have a set of problems. You need, a, you need more alcohol, that's why I run. I'm, I'm so, yeah, exactly. I went through my now first drink. Now we get to Mr. Hyde, who is the ugliest, like, thing <laughs> ever. And when <laughs> later, being with an ugly they're stick. like, Jesus they're Christ. like, oh, hey, that's a good costume. We'll use it again in Van Helsing in two years. <laughs> right? No, Van Helsing's yeah. all CGI. This is all Hulk hands and, like, prosthetics. <laughs> I don't know which I hate well, more. I... <laughs> I like this better because it's it's, it's funny because so his, his arms don't articulate. Stupid. He just swings them around like a T-Rex. <laughs> Look at them, they're flopping around. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this whole movie is a little like 
like nice little shout out to the Van Helsing, the first podcast I was on with you. That's true. God, a lot of audio is so bad in that too. Oh. <laughs> Our audio is so bad. On yeah, that. if you listen to the old stuff, you go, "Good God." I, or if you just listen to too, our apparently. big, yeah. <laughs> or Ronnie sounds like he's in a space suit. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, Bowie. Uh, I just like how some of the actors, because there's so much green screen, it's like yeah. uh, it's like the Phantom Menace yep. problem where they don't know where they are in space or like what's going on yeah. behind them. The same problem we talked about in our um or a big dumb movie thing with a uh, face off, like the spatial understanding of where things are happening. <laughs> oh my God. Hard to tell. But it's after listening to that, po- after listening to that podcast, I want to watch uh face off. Dude, you'll love the it. The boat, it's, it's yeah. the boat scene. Yeah. Danny, you'll love it. Yeah, more boats. More boats. Um, okay, so I, I remember loving Mr. Hyde when I was a kid. I, I love this whole creepy, this looks, the, the yeah. monster within you. It's a cool, you know, I do like how he's kind of gross. Like I like the oh, transformation. Yeah. Uh, it's creepy. I like it. And I love how they just add like like steam to make it hide the terribleness. Is is Shane West one of the hobbits? No, he's, he's not. God, he's, not. he's not the other one. No, he's, he's a he's a hobbit in the Walk to Remember. <laughs> That was one of those movies that, like, I could just worry <laughs> playing like tea back there, <laughs> giving him outfits. Would at you him. get dressed? No. <laughs> <laughs> they ran out of uniforms on the on the set. Just wear what, what you got. You're fine. What's um, what's the Hindi translation for lazy bum? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, um, okay, so no, I have, I have a, a random. Sh- All right, I everyone. Have a random. Uh, sh- so so the camera pans to each character because they have to have something to do, and the director just says. You're happy now. The league is set. They go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nautilus drink. Okay, so I have a random shot or not. Yep. Mm-hmm. The only reason why the character of Tom Sawyer was added was because the studio, 20th Century Fox, was concerned about appealing to American audiences and named it. Af- and then they end up naming, naming it after Robinson's favorite Mark Twain novel as a response. And then Mark Twain promptly haunted the entire <laughs> set. <laughs> <laughs> so many slurs. That's, that's I'm sorry, I didn't know it's true. And tidbits of knowledge. <laughs> Old man knowledge. Yep. Um yeah, it's it, true. No, it's false actually. Oh, he was in the graphic? No, no. Uh, I made up the last part about his favorite Mark Twain. Oh, okay, uh, but it was true they added him because they thought yes, they did, stupid. Yeah, they about yeah. They thought Americans would be like, Listen, what the hell? American audiences are going to be like, who the fuck are these Brits? Touche, yeah. Dan. I'll, I'll drink to you for, for outwilding me. Who would, yeah. What American literary character would you add instead of Tom Sawyer? I can't read. Well, like, do you want like a good edition or just a shitty edition? I don't know. Whatever you want to do. I'd add uh, the, uh, the main character from American Psycho. Oh, Patrick <laughs> Oh my god. He'd just be handing <laughs> business cards and fucking everybody. <laughs> I would add um um Leopold Bloom from um fucking uh, Ulysses mm. and you sit down on, on a on a um. hill and masturbate and talk about how hard life is in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Deep cut literary motherfuckers. Oh my god. I love books. Who's the is the, is the main Christ. character in uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls American? Because it's about an American that goes and fights in the Spanish-American War. Yeah, no, that's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's Hemingway. It's a Metallica song, you dumbass. <laughs> that's Hemingway. Right. <laughs> Maybe we'll just make a movie about authors that fight people. <laughs> Dude, it's way better. We can get Edgar Allan Poe. Mark Twain. Get, um, Hemingway. Get, um, Ernest Hemingway. We can get um, uh, Zelda Fitzgerald who's just, just drunk all the time yeah. crying. And then um, oh, J.K. Rowling who just insults everyone on just she's like no <laughs> transgenders. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbledore's gay. Dumbledore's Why? Because he's gay. Because I said so. Oh, that'll be her superpower. She keeps changing <clears throat> the story after the story's written. <laughs> just to piss off fans and then like it's so funny how like jk rowling went from like like a liberal darling to like liberal like witch <laughs> oh god if if i've learned anything about being famous it's just shut the fuck up like because or the be, more you or, talk or have a podcast and just say a bunch of shit and hope it there works. you go you either go full shia or you just shut the fuck up and smile like 
Okay. What is what is Skinner doing in here? Is he jerking off behind Sean Connery going, I love James Bond. He was going to rape Bond. him. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone oh, touching my poor bum. Sean Connery had ass. to act that. That's so terrible. <laughs> He's just holding Dude, air. He's you like, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> what do you mean, poor Sean Connery? Okay. He got paid like $600,000 for that you know scene. What? But you know what? Compared to like action trash stars like Steven Seagal and Cusack, Connery is doing a great job. He is earning that yeah. money. He's getting paid more than they do, but That's still, true. though. Bruce Willis has I, dementia, I say, like, and he if, still won't do action. <laughs> yeah, if, if if he made this movie now, and then insert, like like you said, Steven Seagal, and he got paid $17 million for this, he would just do nothing. He'd be sitting in a chair <laughs> eating a carrot or some He'd shit. He'd be like, like, you that, ever seen the, the, the video time. of Putin demonstrating judo? And, like, all the guys are basically that's... falling every time he, like, flicks someone. That's not Putin. That's Seagal, isn't it? Putin has one, too. But, yeah, Steven Seagal no, does no, have, Putin... like, one where he's, like, using air to push people or something, right? <laughs> he's an airbender. Uh, yeah. 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 Or Putin, or not anymore. Putin used to be a black belt, and then they got rid of it. You took can't it take him. it away. It's earned, baby. Yeah, you, yeah, you hold can. on. Hold on. You're telling me you think Putin's actually a black belt? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I never said I think he is, but like no they way. made announcements so that like no they take, they're sounds like you've been belt. taken by some Ukrainian propaganda. <laughs> 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 this podcast is sponsored by Visit Ukraine. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. I can feel okay, the mobs forming. Okay, okay, fuck you all. <laughs> this is a sarcastic podcast where we make jokes. If you think that we actually care, calm for that, down. We'll, we'll cast Zelensky in our next League of Extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of pussies. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy's beard. <laughs> Dude, I love it. I I like Nemo. I, lo I like Nemo in this. I like Corner. Yeah. I, I like most of the characters. I, do. I wish they had more to do. I wish they had arcs and things to do, but they have nothing. Or just like a better premise to chase, you know? Like, I don't know. No, no, like... for, for, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Ready for this? Yeah. Sean or not? There is a sequel planned to copy <laughs> War of the Worlds plots where Martians come down and they have to stop some kind of evil plot involving aliens, but it got canceled because of poor reception to this one. True or false? Based off War of the Worlds? Uh, yeah. No, that's false. It's that's true. Movie. They would they would follow some literary bullshit like that. Okay, it's true. Because the original Back. plot of this is goofy as shit, where they have to fight Martians for a serum. This graphic novel is a graphic novel. It's goofy yeah. as shit. This concept is insane. Oh, yeah. This movie yeah. takes it super kind of seriously and boring, but like the actual like graphic novel is fucking insane. <laughs> it's Alan goddamn Moore. <laughs> yeah. It, from my I, it's already tidbit, insane. Uh, it's about fake people. From books that come together yes, but, to fight. All this is like, like taken so seriously and like blandly. Oh like, yeah, they need to schlock it up more, like robots and for sure. Fucking so, so I would love a Netflix series where they they take the actual plot and actually go bananas and then from there branch off into weird shit. It'd be fun. Well, and like what they don't understand is is like you can do a bonkers movie like that and audiences will accept it if the characters are good and entertaining. And the actors are good on screen, you'll buy a lot of bullshit. I haven't. Have you? Oh. Best example is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Absolutely yeah. for that. Yeah. Or um, or I've never seen it, but I heard Doom Patrol is really good. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah, I've heard that too. It's true. But once again, I haven't seen it, and I hear all these random ass characters. Yeah. Are really good I refuse to watch uh, superhero stuff right now. <laughs> oh, Shane, did you ever watch Penny Dreadful? I watched the first season. Um, I think okay. I almost got through the entire first season, and I kind of got to that point. Remember where, like, Eva Green kind of gets possessed, or she's, like, battling yes. possession? I said yes. if there's one more full episode of her screaming naked and, like, dumping water on herself, I'm out. And literally the entire next episode was her screaming naked, dumping buckets of water on herself, and I was like, done. I'm out. And that episode is why I kept watching. <laughs> okay, uh, but um, but the same kind of idea where it's kind of like these random literary characters are kind of put together. Mm -hmm. So it's they're, they're they're very similar. So like it's it can be good. I like the show. It gets super that super fucking trashy by the third season before it mm -hmm. ends. But it's uh, didn't it's they make another one with like um Nathan Lane? 
Like in LA? Um, they made, I watched an episode, had to give up. But yeah, it's basically like Hollywood during the early 19th, uh, 20th century, where it's like the Black Dahlia kind of era. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you watch Penny Dreadful, you'll watch the first two episodes, maybe even three, and you'll be like, this is going to be kind of cool. I'm into this. It's like a smartly written League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. And then it just goes, eh, 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 psycho thriller, eh. And then you're like, oh, someone's getting <laughs> exactly. My mind. We enjoy it. My wife and I enjoy it. So I say check out Pain Dreadful. It's pretty good. Fuck that show. Fuck you. Ava Green gets naked. That is the only positive. And you get to see Josh Harnett again. That guy has disappeared. Uh, anyways, so back to the film. So I love this scene because this is racism. <laughs> they look at this guy with, with, with weird religious beliefs and go, I don't think I trust a guy who's got a turban. <laughs> First he's colored and then now he worships. <laughs> Just to think, yesterday he would have brought me water. <laughs> <laughs> they, I was in Kenya. Well, she, you should have that's been what I like, too, is Quartermain's like supposed to be this, like... They they try to skirt his colonialism. They did. I, I was going to say, the very oh beginning of it, he says, he, he says, I have friends black and white. <laughs> yeah, like, I've had friends black and mostly white, but I have had friends. And, no, and, and he says... And he said, and many more, and like, and many others. Yeah. I'm like, what does that mean? Did he get like Asians and Latinos <laughs> in this thing too, or what? Barney, um, the Grinch. Um, but they 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 but yeah. skirt it, and like, he's supposed to be like Mister Accepting, like, oh yes, but I don't like but, women. But, but also, he says he's tired Not of the women. British government too. So so that they really try to make him a little more twenty percent. All the while, he lives in a colonial uh, mansion in Kenya <laughs> with African servants. Yeah, yeah. like. Okay. Yeah, oh my god. I mean... This is weird, too. Like, this, this whole story with Mina and Dorian used to fuck because they're both, I guess, immortal. But they really don't really go into this. It's just a ruse. Dorian's so hot. That's so, so, shout out to our friends at Big Dumb Movie because he plays Lestat in the Queen of the Damned movie, which I've never seen, but I was looking no. up who he was. Cause he looks familiar, but I really haven't seen much of him. Hmm. He looks like Steve Ulrich. He looks kind of like the guy from Scream. He plays Billy. Mm, yeah, yeah, a little bit. That's true. Okay. He's that trash Wait, facial hair. Well, and... Yeah. I, Dorian Gray is stupid in this because I'm like, okay, a guy that lives forever, right? A British aristocrat. Sutton tells me he's not an expert swordsman. You know what I mean? Like, he'd be brought on because, like, he literally has seen history. You know? He's in Pain Dreadful, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's been pain dreadful. But yeah, they address that too. Same thing. He like has like, uh, he does like um, fencing in that too. Mm. So I'm sure it's in the novel. Yeah, he must be a master fencer in the novel or something. My, my, my question is, why is um, the doctor like spying on them? Is he trying to like get a quick peek and like jerk off? Oh, he something? was trying no, to jerk it. It's because there's only one female in the entire And they all have, have to try to fuck her. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, everybody tries to, and I, I thought there was like a like a little like side plot between her and Tom Sawyer in the it's, end. But I, I thought remember. it was her and Hyde, so we all thought differently. <laughs> it's it's yeah, called sure. a love triangle, not a love circle. Like God. no, it's like a it's, it's the it's devil's like triangle. Love, yeah. No, <laughs> it's like a love octagon. There's so many men and one like, woman. Quartermain's so the dicks. only one who has hopped off the uh, wanna fuck Mina train. Like. Oh, and Nemo, yes, because t- oh yeah, yeah, because Tom's. I thought the the, di- the love triangle is going to be between Tom, Dorian, and her, but then Jekyll is also there. And he's like, "She'll never love you, nerd." And he goes, why "Is Jekyll's shadow there?" I get why he's in the the mirror, but why is his shadow there? I'm trying to remember the book. Uh, cause it's filming. been a long time I since I. Oh yeah, his shadow is there. They literally like, it makes it look more ominous, but like in the logic of anything it doesn't make sense. Like I yeah. accept this that he's in his head. The shadow's the part. Yeah, that I, li- I like this like little yeah. like side thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little hulky, but I will say Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde oh, came shit. long before the Hulk. So <laughs> Oh yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But like Yeah, take that Stanley, you mm-hmm. fucking con. I think this is right before or after the two thousand something Hulk. What, what year was that? Two thousand Two? No. Oh, that's horrible? gotta be close to it with um Eric Bana. Eric Bana? Yeah. That's yeah, a that's a one we can the uh, revisit. One. 
Atlas Shrugged. 2003, same <laughs> year. So, actually, very... Same year, okay. Ayn Rand. Ayn Rand version, yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh, I know Andy remember, Andy. remember when uh, people no. couldn't stop quoting Atlas Shrugged, and now it's 1984. Like, right? <laughs> everyone always picks a book that they're like, "See, I told you," and you're like, "Well, it's because those people read those books in fucking high school. Yeah, that's all they read after high school." Da Vinci. So this is supposed to be, I think, the giveaway that M is the bad guy because he robs the Da Vinci papers from the Bank of England. There's a, there's a, no, there's another one when the guy yells, James, run. I'm like, why the fuck is he calling him James? What kind of henchman calls you by your first name? Yeah. And if you're going to have Moriarty, why wouldn't you have Sherlock Holmes as part of this team? And one. Uh, Because rights. Because the rights, that's Mm. why. No, Sherlock Holmes is public domain. Yeah. Is it really? Remember, everything besides the Invincible Man is in public domain. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Yes. So this scene. Oh my Jesus. Um, and well, in one iteration, there's a Bond character in this. I think it's James Bond's great grandsons in one of them, a Fleming character. Oh, that's and then, fun. And then I think in one iteration, Sherlock Holmes isn't in it, but I think maybe Minecraft or someone from Sherlock Holmes is in it. I can't remember who else it is. Because Moriarty, I don't think was the original bad guy. It was the Fu Man, Dr. Fu Manchu. Wu Tang Clan. The Wu Tang Clan? <laughs> the fuck with. That would have been funny. By the way, I'm watching that uh, that, that that series on uh, Hulu. I enjoy it. Oh, oh the Wu Tang one. Yeah, it's like uh. it's like The Wire meets um, Eight Mile. <laughs> yeah, let me know how that is. Um, I enjoy it. That would no be cool if they added 007 to this. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you know, yeah, they um, that that was uh, another thing of adding in Bond characters. Like, uh, the way. I think I think actually in the deleted scenes, there's a bunch of characters who got cut on the cutting room floor and. There was a, supposed to be supposed to be a scene where they meet James Bond's grandson. Well, I mean, yeah, that's that dumb. Scary. Why wouldn't they just say 007? James Bond is just a 007. It's not like it's a family yeah. tradition of no, being... It's, it's like people don't understand literary characters oh and just fucking did it just because... God, of I fucking... Hate, I'm glad this movie died. Like, hmm. This movie is a testament to like audiences being the problem. Yeah, and these goddamn Italians build, building a city on fucking water. <laughs> That's Christ. what I was thinking about. No, no, <laughs> and the no, lazy no, Italian. Is, is... I was like, get up, you lazy <laughs> Italian. He gets pushed over by his ship, and he's like, I'm still sleeping. <laughs> you know. I just love that the Nautilus can just navigate in between the fucking tiny avenues of Venice. And, the, and these canals, these canals are like 15 feet deep. This is not gonna work. Yeah, and it's fucking huge. <laughs> I just love that I can make fun of Italians with no fucking issue. <laughs> That's yeah, and by the way, the, one of the few people this... I can go bippity bobbity boop, and no one gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this in Van Helsing, no one ever walks on the streets. It is always rooftops. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it's all empty because it's they're all shot on like uh, sets in, in Prague, apparently. And uh, Kiba Kuding Jr. is one is in one of those diving gears. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> Men of Honor. Look at that reference. He walked on scene. <laughs> Or watch on kind of like Daniel Craig is in the uh, The Force Awakens as one of the uh, stormtroopers. You mentioned it already. I was going to say the joke, like I, like um, I, I keep wanting to call the Phantom the Phantom Menace. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if they were hunting Darth Maul, that'd be the best. Speaking of uh, yeah. like Star Wars, in the beginning when I kept saying the Empire, I couldn't stop laughing. I kept thinking of like, <laughs> Star Wars. British Empire has fallen into the sea. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention this earlier. So he hands him a Winchester repeating rifle. And you go yeah. and he goes, oh, Yeah, God. it's been modified to make it an American way. And I was like, it's- I'm pretty sure the British knew what repeating rifles were. Like <laughs> like <laughs> it wasn't some like, yeah, little American, you know, modification. Like Yeah, Winchester was American, but like the repeating rifle wasn't like, Yeah, fuck you, Brits and your your bolt action. Like we still use well, bolt action in America. Like, well, in the in the first scene, he's like, "Oh, they have automatic rifles." I'm like, "It's eight. Look, how do you know what an automatic rifle is already? It's impossible. It's like new technology that no, they're inventing." No, well, that's the whole point. This whole thing is a steampunk reinvention. Like automobiles yeah. weren't mass produced yet. Yeah, so I'm like, "What the? What is the fuck?" Especially this one. Oh, okay, <laughs> I have a quick shot or not. Mm-hmm. How does he know how to drive? Because he's American badass, man. <laughs> Come on, okay. it's Tom Sawyer. Come on. All right, all right. What's your shot or not? 
Um, this this scene was originally supposed to be filmed in Prague. Unfortunately, a flood occurred and had to set back the filming of this scene for weeks, and it cost them a seven million dollars set. False or true or false? Okay, this you're doing a good job because I know that for a fact there was a flood. I just don't fucking remember which parts of yours are lying. So I'm going to go with false. I almost prefer that they did this in Prague. That'd be cooler. True or false? False. Yeah. You're fucking with me somewhere. Nope, this is all true. Ah! It was shot in Prague. Yep. Uh -huh. It was supposed to be well, I in just Venice. Well, I just said yeah. a minute ago it was shot in Prague. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, this is shot yeah. in Prague? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so all all of it, like the yeah. London scenes, this is all shot in Prague. Prague. What kind of fucking bullshit is this? It's cheaper. Oh yeah. God, what is? Okay, I need to hear some behind the scenes. This movie sounds like it was fucking disaster. Dude, the the behind oh the scenes is God. way more interesting than the actual movie itself. It's no, really yeah. fucking like oh, I, I enjoy just sitting there reading stuff about this. Oh, not to cut you off there, wrong, but. Fucking Tom Sawyer brings out two pistols and starts shooting rap uh, like Akimbo rapidly through those like columns. Oh my god, he didn't hit anything. I like that word, yeah. a Akimbo. Sounds like a Pornhub That's... category. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mullen dicks Akimbo. Um, but yeah, that, that's hot what, young that's blog those... <laughs> versus Akimbo. <laughs> that's one of those like. It's <laughs> one of those jokes. Is like. He shoots like an American, so he shoots just tons of bullets at the time, which just doesn't make sense because yeah. they don't really have many bolt. They don't really have a lot of, you know, revolving stuff and app or whatever. But it's kind of the joke is like he's like British man shoot one shot at a time and don't miss. Gosh, kick her time. I shot. never heard of the American Revolution. Yeah, I would be like, that's why we kicked your ass, old man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kick that, you tease. Son that of and the bitch. French. I <laughs> I love this part because, like, uh, Shane West is, like, pulling hard right and hard left when he's driving. And stays straight. And he doesn't turn ever. Oh, anymore. my God. That looks bad. There's some Phantom Menace green screen there. Look at this green screen. It's so bad. Well, it looks even worse because it goes from green screen to real sets. Yeah. But then, yeah. like, the yeah, shot. That transition so it does is not very, look very good. bad. Does not I just like how his whole, ca his whole crew is Indian. Except Ishmael. He's all, oh, I'm Ishmael, boys. <laughs> what? Fuck it. <laughs> they added Ishmael as first mate. The whole yeah. crew is Indian. Except for the fucking first mate. Yeah. Who's yeah. like you know, Cockney. Oh, and, <laughs> well, and by the way. They added him because another American character. You gotta have Melville's character. We'll just him. jump out here real quick. I'm not gonna break my goddamn legs. Yeah. I was left with that last night. Too, <laughs> I know. He just, just lands. Like, perfectly lands. My, uh, my girlfriend is like, how is he not dead? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him pulling left so hard and not going anywhere. I was <laughs> yeah. waiting for a hot rod scene where, like, he jumps out of the car just, oh, 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 what kind of villains in the middle of his explosion plan? Like, what a fucking idiot! Because they had to have a meeting. He took the the super sub in for some reason. Why is he even here? That's what I just said. Why is he on the middle of the explosion for his bad guy plan where he could die? By the way, Ishmael needs to have the the red like beanie like in um, Steve Zizou. Yeah, uh, Steve Zizou. That'd be so perfect. Uh, the red, the red spandex and the blue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That That's would be awesome. awesome, Steve Zizou's yeah. Nautilus. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray as uh, what's his face? Yeah, as is as, as Nemo. As Quartermain. As Quartermain. Yeah. Oh Quartermain. God, yeah. Where he's just like, <laughs> I don't, I don't really care about the British Empire. <laughs> I love how he's just firing a fucking missile. How I like how he has ICBMs. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> God. The hot wheel car is flipped over. How is he not dead? What yet? if what if this doesn't stop the domino? It just triggers another set of dominoes since it's a giant fucking explosion. That's not how dominoes work. <laughs> yeah, I forget the part in dominoes where you say, I be a motherfucker. Dominoes! <laughs> He should have said Domino's, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's missing, like, Vin Diesel or Samuel L. Jackson. It's missing are, someone real shocking. Why are all these Italians dressed up like French monarchy? I put on the mask. I'm supposed to be a French lady. <laughs> 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 oh, the spaghetti is everywhere. <laughs> no, 
Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's do a shot or not. Vanish still okay. stands like Ugh. my cock. <laughs> Why is my penis out in garden? Ugh. <laughs> This is the scene in the Garden of Good and Evil where we talk about things. What if he was cool. Rasputin? Because that's what I was getting. But I thought he was like, <laughs> you, uh, you think I can stop this? Uh, fuck you. <laughs> that would it wouldn't be literary though. That would be historical, kind of like Kingsman. It's yeah. too real. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, Shut or not? In the original script, Quartermain was supposed to be found in an opium den, but the director Norrington <gasps> refused to film scenes with drug use. True or false? That's got to be true for sure. No, that's false. I know. I know why too. It is false. Uh, why? Uh, Sean, is it because Sean Connery didn't want to be playing somebody who smokes opium or sm uh, an opium addict? Yes, that yes. you're correct, Dan. So drink. Fuck you, Shane. So, I do my research. So in the original, like uh, King Solomon's, like mines, Quartermain's a drug addict. Something not. It's not opium. So in, so in the graphic novel, they made him addicted to opium, but they had to cut it because Sean Connery refused to be a drug addict. <laughs> It'd be so much more fun, wouldn't it? Sean would? Connery sounds like a nightmare. Well, I honestly, I honestly thought there was a scene where he, they found him in an opium den. But I'm thinking of From Hell and From Hell, the giant Alan Moore movie based on the graphic novel, Johnny Depp's an opium addict. You know, so this whole Ooh, Sean ow. Connery thing is making sense to me because the reason James Bond almost died was because of Sean Connery. Um. He was such a nightmare yep. post Bond when they tried to like change Bonds. People can just take knives to the body parts and have no problem. Oh, thanks for listening, everybody. Um, well, but like karma, bitch. I don't know. Remember when they? Well, you wouldn't remember. We were all not alive. But so when they switched to Roger Moore, Sean Connery was pissed, and like, uh, he made little people know this but sean connery actually made a movie to face off against roger moore so they made two bond movies by two different publication face movies face off. Um, face off. and in sean connery's one i want to say it's the living daylights but in his movie you can see why it failed to roger moore's bond um he dresses in japanese face and <laughs> flies over tokyo in a contraption what? I'm listening now. <laughs> Look it up. He, Sean Connery wears Japanese face. I love how um, I love how uh, Ishmael is walking down and dying, and none of these people are trying to help him. There's like some guy just limping and dying. <laughs> I don't know why they did the whole gray is gonna be the bad guy. I'm surprised they didn't really go with Hitler. Just <laughs> oh, have you seen the latest um, Kingsman? No. My wife and I watched it because we were really bored. It's really fucking terrible. And uh, it takes place at the end of, like, uh, it's the same plot as this, actually. It's preventing World War II. It's almost the exact same uh, plot as it was World War I. With, uh, and at the very end of this, I was, I was sitting there going, it's going to be Hitler, isn't it? And fucking Hitler walks into frame like, yep, oh, I knew that shit was going to happen. Awesome. Christ. I've only seen... Um... Uh, the first Kingsman, and I enjoyed that in theaters. Actually, here's a, here's a reference. Those are those spinny blades that Van Helsing has. Oh, remember in Van Helsing, like he has those like spinny blades. He used oh to yeah, he can. Hide and he with. pumps. Oh yeah. Okay. He pumps yeah. them. Yeah, we talked about this in our last uh, track on. Van Helsing. Th but yeah, that's what it looks like. I thought Nemo was gonna be like, "That's my pleasure pod. Get it." <laughs> <laughs> Me and Skinner were in there like three days. Ago. There's just nude photos all over the place. <laughs> uh, so it kind of takes the sting out of the betrayal when you didn't really like Dorian the entire time. And also, I don't know I like anything about him. Like what? I'm supposed to care that the the team was betrayed when by it's like guy number three betrayed the team. Like, I don't give a fuck. Well, I think it's hoping that you would... Okay, which is stupid. The, the whole premise is stupid. It's like... It makes sense from a graphic novel. You're reading a book. You're reading these things. The references, you would know these characters beforehand. And it's kind of they develop yeah. them. In the movie, I think it's assuming you would know these characters. Americans are stupid because we had to put Tom Sawyer in this. So obviously, we don't know any of these fucking characters. And my dumbass didn't even know that was Tom Sawyer. Because they didn't say Tom Sawyer. They said Agent Sawyer. 
<laughs> I, I, no, I, didn't, I didn't realize until this past like watch. Of course, I remember that as a kid, but like it doesn't make sense because Tom Sawyer is a liar, so therefore secret agent. But he wasn't like a gun-toting American. You got? <laughs> uh, he's from the South. It should have been Huck Finn and uh <laughs> and uh the uh, his friend. I'm not gonna say his name. By the fucking way, what, Jim? what if like they put on this vinyl and fucking like Slayer or like Black Sabbath starts? Yeah, like, it's oh, just like so fucking awesome. It's, it's just, it'd be so awesome. This is the dumbest scene this, where drink this, the this, entire this... time this is on because it just explains yes. everything. Okay, let me explain why this is stupid for ten reasons. There's a guy in the background. Oh, it's a portrait. Okay, so they are listening no, to a no, vinyl. That's, that's actually that's an actual person, isn't it? Yeah, that was a portrait, wasn't it? That was an actual person. Oh, there's a portrait of M. Anyways, on. sorry, go on. If, I want to be shamed. I'm hoping you, if, if you're right, I'm wrong. But so there's a vinyl record in which the bad guy decides to record with Dorian at the similar time. Oh, you're right. There's a guy in the background. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Ah! It's Roger Moore. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Sean Connery in uh, an Asian face. Um, oh, no, it, it's the guy from the beginning. That's what it is. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah, it's the guy. He, anyway, he becomes sorry. the invisible man later. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So he's recording audio with Dorian and the other bad guy who's not a portrait. And they're, t and they're telling their plan. And they're telling all these things. The stupidest reason is he wants war because he sells arms, which is the exact same Moriarty thing that they stole from Sherlock Holmes. Arms, <laughs> uh. This is the one thing I like about this. Is that it kind of yes. set this up. Where like, where like the, the sound is bugging high. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Who yeah, I, th this was like one of the most memorable like things I remember from like when I used to originally like watch this on TV. Like, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and then they shoot this in black and white as if they can see it. And they can't see it. This is so stupid. They're... And by the way, no one saw Dorian lug that goddamn... <laughs> Photo thing all the way around everything. Like, what you doing with that yeah. photo camera? It's it's one of those things where, like, why are you telling us and then showing us? Just show and us. And Dr. Don't Jekyll just keeps his potions just on his nightstand. <laughs> and then Dorian didn't even, like, try to bother to, like, like just dump the liquid out and put the bottle back. Yeah. It's fucking lazy. This is stupid. Oh, and I've got this one. Did Quartermain's son kill himself or get killed? Because uh, got it killed. sounded like... Because um, M says to him, you might as well put the gun to his head to himself. And it kind of sounded like he killed himself. But I know he was... He says... He tells Sawyer he was shot. Yeah, he was shot in that, like, the last mission. But, yeah, yeah. I don't, don't remember. It's been so long since I read King Solomon's Minds that I, I don't... The Bible? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I spit take again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, religion's funny. <laughs> yeah. So those goddamn Scientologists, Another right? goddamn ticking bomb! <laughs> <laughs> God, it's all these people know is bombs! <laughs> At least it's, it's not like a bunch of like submarine nope. torpedoes filled with men that like attach. just leave the bomb next to the door like yeah. no one's gonna see that shit by And crying. no one hears this? That's weird. Yeah. Well, but like I... when the crew's like, huh, why is someone's luggage chilling here? Is it, is it the one finds it? Is this anybody's? Oh, is this anybody's? Uh, I don't know. No. And that's and that's racist. You know, like having all these like packages next to these like Middle Eastern people. That's racist as shit. I don't like that. At Post all. nine eleven. <laughs> TSA would definitely stop them. This is definitely. Yeah, racist. TSA would doesn't nah, like nah, nah, un nah. unwatched luggage. Um, Jet fuel does not melt. George Bush doesn't memes. like un <laughs> unwatched luggage. The memes. <laughs> oh man, but like. I, I literally thought they would have a bunch of mini submarines that attach to the submarine. You'd be like, you're going to die by my henchmen. And they'd have another action dun, scene. Dun, dun. But I'm also, I also conflate this movie with the Avengers a lot. Since it's basically the Avengers. I'm getting, I'm getting more Titanic vibes. Not <laughs> and you don't mean the Marvel Avengers. You mean the Sean Connery. Sean Avengers. Connery's Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got you all here. No, so. no, like the, 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 that's a movie. Wait, what? It's a movie with Sean Connery and um, uh, Pulp Fiction bitch, Uma Thurman. No, it's Hoosiers with Gene Ackman, you idiot. What? The Avengers? It's a, it's a, goddamn, it's a goddamn movie, 98, with um, Ralph, Ralph Fiennes. It's a movie. What did they, really? like what did they do? It's a, two, British, two British agents trenched out the world from like from like a destroying plot. It's it's an old like book made into this. This is where this idea came from, too. It's an old idea. Moore got the idea from um, an old like movie in the 60s of the Avengers. It's an old like novel, huh. too. Like, this is... 
It's all God. things. My mind is blown. Why is everyone literate and I'm not? Jesus Christ. I always, that movie sounds like, what's the movie with Catherine Zeta-Jones and Sean Connery where she's like a thief? Ocean's 12? <laughs> yeah. There you go. No, uh, where's his big hat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Avengers has Sean Connery in it. He's not a star. He's like the side oh. person. Captain Zeta Jones. I don't know what you're talking about. What is it with Captain Zeta Jones? I think I think I've seen only seen Dun -dun. Chicago with her in it. I think it's little Zeta Wallace Jones. Net worth? Seen Ocean's 12. Now I'm getting distracted. What is her net worth? Huh? 150 million. <laughs> Good luck. She was born in well, Wales. She, uh, she, oh, she's also getting in the uh, what's his face money. Michael Douglas. Yeah, Michael Douglas. Who? Yeah, who's still and HPV? Oh, here, here still we ticking. Oh, it's called entrapment. I was right. Michael Douglas isn't old. His dad was the one who was like 114. Yeah, we should. No, Michael Douglas is still old. We should watch Entrap. Oh, he is still old. We should watch yeah, Entrapment. I know what you mean, yeah, for sure. Sean Connery has sex never, with Catherine Zeta-Jones. I'm, I'm not watching that. That sounds stupid. I'm not it's a thief that. movie. This is one thing I that love... bo bothered me about, like, all of a sudden, like, Hyde is, like, good now because he learns to, like, do something, like, valuable. And this is, like, he, he's able to control it now. Well, they cut they cut the scene where he rapes somebody next scene, so. Well, Hyde did the raping of Skinner because he was a good rape. It was a good rape <laughs> scene. Yeah. Cold, <laughs> the quality rape that Ron approves of. Yeah. Yeah, Ronnie would have liked this more if there was more rape. <laughs> I can go on a rant about something, but it's kind of off. You know, so what off about the Catholic Church? Really Do it. No, not that one. Do it. Do it. The goddamn <laughs> Protestants. No, it's, 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 it's a movie I just recently <laughs> saw. But, uh, I don't you saw a movie? It. Oh, tor tor Tortoise time. in the Hair. You got a drink, right? Or no? Yeah. Oh, no, we're not oh, doing yeah. that one. Good call, Dan. Good call. Oh, that is a literary yeah. reference. Good job, Dan. Look at Dan contributing to the You podcast. read a bedtime story, you fucking imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read it. Someone read it. Yeah, I was about to say, your mom told you there's a tortoise and a hare and one's faster. Good night. <laughs> what is to tortoise? Oh, a turtle. Oh, okay. Why do they call it so fancy word? You see, the rabbit liked to do coke. <laughs> And the tortoise <laughs> didn't do coke. He did. Wait, weed. by the way, how does wait how does Skinner doing Morse code with his cock from like that pod? He's like banging the side of the, the pod. No, because he's <laughs> because he's invisible and he snuck into the the translation room, whatever. The, he, the he's, he's hitting room. his cock on Dorian like. I accept <laughs> the invisible man can do invisible shit. Okay, <laughs> I can't accept the Nautilus being this ridiculous, floating with holes in it, and not only that, um. They are, they're repairing it? How? Also, th yeah, also, this, like, sex thing, like, this sex vibe here is like, mm, go on. It's because there's tons of, like, steel beams at the bottom. <laughs> By the way, he taps the glass here, like, good. Good. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Good. He, 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 he <laughs> glass, hands some things to these guys, speaks Hindi, randomly just nods and understands. He's handing things. them towels, and like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this towel? <laughs> <laughs> I need a fucking syringe, dumbass. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Okay, can you explain the GP the GPS navigation chain? Is that based upon like magnets or is that based upon bullshit? So apparently Sorry, there's spectate one, over here. one light. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I quit, I'm sorry. <laughs> there's one light uh, that chases the other light. <laughs> and it's, it's based, based off the Santa star or, based off the constellation Orion. And apparently does Mongolia have frozen lakes? I was thinking the exact same thing. It's got. I to, know it has like, the Gobi Desert, mountains. but like, oh. Mongolia's got like huge mountainous regions. Yeah, it's got. Yeah, they, it's got the. They actually steeps. do like it's it's it, yeah. If you if you ever watch South Park, it makes more sense. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's no walls. <laughs> God, I wish our president built more walls. <laughs> By the way, like, as, uh, this Ronnie, I know you and I have talked about this, like. When it started showing the snow, I'm like, oh, is this going to be the thing? And I got really excited. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm watching the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So this <laughs> I wish it was the thing. Um, yeah, so when it punches through the thing. ice, I thought they were going to reference a narwhal leading them. I thought, like, like from <laughs> oh, <laughs> like a claymation God. narwhal is going, here you go. <laughs> it's a Moby Dick. Yeah. 
Shane, I was okay, thinking that, but the kinda, but I was thinking of the office where it was like my horn can pierce the sky. <laughs> <laughs> no? What right, the no fuck are you talking about? There's From no the one in the village. Like, no one yeah. for you to rape, right, Nemo? Ha ha ha. What? Skin as a rapist. Because he's a pirate. You can't rape and pillage the village. Yeah. No, I get it. Okay. Like all that fire there, just like the the smokestacks are burning out fire. And like <laughs> hey, well, where's the It's like a Russian factory too. It's got very uh orthodox pillars. <laughs> <laughs> so baroque. So bar- <laughs> Oh. I love that Skinner's just gonna walk around with his nuts out. Fucking frozen. <laughs> oh my god, it makes me laugh so much. And the snow is so fucking real. And so here's where it's supposed to be like this real introspective. It's like remember he, me- he mentioned how yeah. a tiger is fiercest when it's old. Yeah, this is like the attempt to have not a character arc. It's like a character like realization. Line or character or... Thank you. I was gonna say realization. Yeah, it's a character scribble. Basically, we're like, they try to bring something back. Because if you have fucking 14 characters, it's impossible to give them all arcs. That's why it's boring. And then... I don't don't think white tigers can survive in this, like, horribly, like, cold, right? They live in Siberia. I was thinking the exact same thing as Siberian white tigers, not fucking Mongolian white tigers. Yeah. Oh, goddamn Mongolians. (laughs) (laughs) Goddamn Mongolian. You might have to bleep that out there, Ron. Knocked out my shitty factory. (laughs) (laughs) It's a reference to a white guy doing it, so we're okay. Oh, you see, yeah, we're fine, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Trey Parker. And because we, the audience, don't understand, Nemo has to go, old white tiger, huh? Yeah, yeah well, uh, like, drink. I guess drink, right? Because the characters yeah. are explaining things happening on the screen. Good job. Yeah. Mm. Yep. It's or obnoxious. Oh, you touched my asshole. He should have come out and been like, you didn't shoot it? That pelt is worth a fortune. See, yeah. this is a this is an Alan Moore comic, but if Zack Snyder directed this, you'd see his dick because Zack Snyder loves to show dicks. Oh, yeah, or, you'd see a snow or cock. Or also gra- sure. grab her by the pussy, though, either, too. He did grab her by the pussy. That's why she jumped. No, no, no. It was the Hong ass. Kong, I'm running for president. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Vote for me, Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh. Podcast is just rambling drunkenly about presidents. <laughs> yeah, we do mention presidents a lot. The presidential oh podcast. God. It's Shane doing impressions of random shit, and then uh, uh, just drunkenly randomly in Hamilton. Cats. <laughs> cats, yeah. Yeah, or yeah, hey, hey, Air Force there. One, the Hamilton references Ugh. were warranted. I those th- those actually were connected. That wasn't a, that wasn't a reference. That all was these, a like, fucking like, like uh, black knight costumes and act like that's like the like the peak of technology at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those, by the way, those robots look like like RoboCop. That'd be so awesome. There's a bunch of RoboCops. See, that would be impressive steampunk shit if he's got RoboCops, but he has fucking black knights from the. Um, uh, Monty Python, and acting like this is like the peak of like advances. <laughs> oh my God! Just bunch of scratch. All right. Um. So this is like to just drive home that the bad guy's really evil, like because he uses the women men and, and the women and children are just there to die, and not one Mongolian shown. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of white guys. There's not a lot of Mongolians in Prague. Well, like. He literally just says how there's oh. slave labor and they don't show one fucking slave. Man. I think I have one more shot. Oh, no. So I here's what's going to happen more. in the film. I have, I have a couple still. But uh, there's a little thing here. Oh. No one wanted to play the invisible man or hide for the little amount of money they paid them. Really? The because, who's the guy? Well, who's because the actor, the actor right him? here, I don't remember his name. He's not anyone I recognize, but he didn't want to do it because they wouldn't show his face. So they, had, they had to do the whole white you know like the white face thing here mm-hmm. because he's like no one's gonna recognize me and no one wanted to be hide because of the prosthetics and how little they were paying him so the guy who's playing him jason fleming's is like eh, i need the work yeah i'll get paid <laughs> i'll get paid 11 11 grand for this i'm sure they paid him like sag minimum basic yeah. the, was it. the sag minimum salary or whatever yeah i guarantee it's embarrassing well, connery's sitting there jerking off like going give me more scotch bitch <laughs> Shavern I'm the goddamn Earth. producer. <laughs> I was James Bond and then the Untouchable. Why wouldn't you just take that money 
and just be like, you know what? We'll get someone Bats. mildly famous. We don't need Connery. Why is that gonna freaking out about the bands? Um. Well, supposedly when they were writing this, they had the envision of Sean Connery as um, Quatermain. That's why. I just I, always... I wouldn't mortgage my movie for him though. That's crazy. No. Well, 20, well Fox, he was going to turn it down, and they, and they and they wrote the script for him, and then they really want him. They had the money, and, and Fox is moonlighting it. <laughs> Fox is the best. Uh, also, I recommended uh, the Glenn Beck uh, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he's still doing things. Is he still crying? He has to or cry. Yeah, acting as like like we actually listen to the Glenn. He has to. He, I do. Yeah, I I do every day. Yeah, he does. He, he does occasionally. He, he's got to cry. He's still crying once I, a week for sure. I miss his chalkboard. I know. Do okay. we hear him on the chalkboard in the background? See, here's the Illuminati. So scratchy. Nope. Oh, hold on. Hey, I hey, can't. I can't. Hey, Glenn. Uh, no one likes the sound of chalk on a chalkboard, but I guess keep going, bud. This is why well, the Democrats are touching children. <laughs> Shot or not? All right. Oh. In a deleted God. scene. Sawyer talks about his partner Huck Finn getting taken off the case for killing a black man named Jim. True or false? What? Oh no! Oh my! God. <laughs> I take. I take. Killing? <laughs> I'm gonna say that's so oh, true. True. That's so true. true. This is acknowledged. No, it's gonna be no. That's it's gonna be false. false as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what green light like, Huck Finn shooting a black man? The, the fucking okay, yeah, 20th century okay. Fox would. Oh, yeah. 2003. <laughs> props, though, that was pretty yes. good, though. That was pretty good. That was pretty Drink good. pitches. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was good. good. Huck Finn can't because he shot a black guy. <laughs> 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 like, they're, like, they're sitting on top of, like, where they shoot. He's got a cigarette. My friend, you know. <sighs> yeah. Drink, Huck. uh, drink. He, he said, the scientist. This is Jim. Looks like it was our last raft ride. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so bad. So I was doing bad. more of a, um, a uh, you know, political and uh, racial unrest with cops. But you know what? You guys take it the way you want to go. <laughs> I like how the actors run at the green screen. Yep. Oh, yes. There's, uh, what, what's in front of me right now? Ooh. This, this, right this looks now, like, that looks like film from, like, 1941. Of, are like, those Hitler CGI right bombs? Yeah, it, it looked... yeah. Uh, they are. Why they can't you make like a the Hindenburg real... footage, Dan? <laughs> oh, the humanity! <laughs> why? Why did you see GI bombs? You could literally go get PVC pipes. Oh my god! Uh, what I read was the production company, who were promised to do visual effects, like dumped them like they refused to do them maybe because the, the, the money wasn't worth it or whatever it was. So they had to like scramble to get a new. Not company. one I Mongolian. I, I don't see what it was. <laughs> it is all British white people in Mongolia. That well, they how did they we overlook the scientists this? From somewhere else, right? Even the Temple of Doom has authentic children. Yeah, there are a lot of authentic people that were paid for pennies, but like, like the scientists weren't Mongolian; they brought them from outside. Well, the lady in like the cobbler outfit was British, like white, white, white. No, well, aren't these the sons and daughters of the scientists? Oh, so you're saying that they kidnapped them and transported them all the way to Mongolia. Well, that's how they make them work. I think <sighs> that's what they said, right? Well, what about the Mongolian village? Did they say that they made them work? So maybe, like, those are, like, the steel workers. Fuck if I know. I'm just telling... I'm not this telling this job. No shit. <laughs> that's why we're watching. It's part of our podcast. Ah, oh, here's the big reveal. Someone picked it. Who's the bad guy? No, we already knew the bag, mm -hmm. idiot. I had this bomb. I'm gonna put in here real quick. Oh, oh that, that's not the bomb. Never mind. <laughs> you knew the reveal already. Shane, what are you talking about? They didn't say Moriarty yet. Oh. Yeah, they did. Well, he saw him. He said M. Oh, that's the reference. Yeah, the M. He's he says M is a bad guy. Oh and then yeah. At the very end, I didn't know that's what Connery calls him Moriarty. I but yeah. yeah, I didn't know that's yeah. what M. I thought that was a Fleming reference. You said intruders, Indians? What? <laughs> Those Indians? My God, there's Indians! <laughs> what have they done? He's like, the Americans brought them here. <laughs> Wait, Native oh, Americans? God. No, Indians. I'm confused. <laughs> they were, I thought they were in cupboards. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
Oh, what if they were in there? He's like, Indians! And he, like, hits it on the ground. There's a bunch of, like, little Native Americans in there. Release them! <laughs> Wait, so they all have automatic weapons? Yes. What? Apparently, they're, they're all the rage. So many die here. Who has automatic weapons? I love how this guy is just, like, Walking around the fucking Black Knight outfit. And God that's damn. not how bullets yeah. work. They don't reflect directly back. God. No, yes, they do. They do. They would hit that steel and, like... Yes. Never mind. It's geometry. Hey, rubber and I'm glue. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> so this is, like, some choreography, I guess. It's so lazy. Like, I feel like the editing saved and also ruined this movie. I feel like they had jumble messes and they just kind of constantly... Go, 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 go. Keep editing to kind um, of fix the terrible mistakes. Ron, I, I, I can't, like, find it, but I had, like, Drink some already. research about um, the CGI in this that, like... Napoleon, drink. They, like, they finish, like, the effects, like, days before it was released. Do you have anything um, on that? All I got from that was... Napoleon oh, Crime is a reference to Sherlock Holmes drink. Um, no, th they said that, like, halfway through the visual effects... The company quit. They they, they forward they got voided their contract and they went somewhere else. That's why the, the CGI is rushed. Yeah. Okay. I, I I thought I had something, but I can't find it for some reason. But still, that's never a good sign when your CGI company says "fuck this, I'm done." How'd she get in there? She's standing. And then I have a look how sexy she is. Uh, oh, they're holding that shot way too long. She doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Oh, what I, do I forgot hands. to uh, point this out to you guys earlier. I guess we can rewind it at some point just so you can laugh. Um, the scene that introduces no. Mina in the library where she walks in and all the henchmen are on yeah. the ground. There's one henchman that thinks the take is over and he goes to start getting up as she walks in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> and he like turns his head and sees her and he, he lays back down. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> no, oh, fuck. Stop talking. <laughs> oh, 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 camera. <laughs> this is a literary trash cliche trope of, like, people literally being stabbed in the back. Like, 14 fucking people yeah. in this movie are stabbed in the back, and they, they think, like, that's some kind of a cool motif. <laughs> Did you guys, when watching, like, this, like, fight scene, I'm, or, I'm sorry, I'm speaking for Tehran, not Shane, because he didn't rewatch this. Mm -mm. But, um, like... Like this, this, like this fight sucks. Like I don't care. Like or like I, there's no repercussions. I'm like, eh, yes. Eh. Like I was the, not uh, excited at all. Is this? This the, is the oh, end of Pirates of the Caribbean when Jack Sparrow and uh, Barbados are fighting for like 25 minutes, and you're like, who fucking cares? Yeah, and no Barbados even die. says we're never gonna stop fighting. And like you can't just like say that and not realize how stupid your tension is, right? And so here's what I don't understand six, either. Bro. It's always so <laughs> fancy fighting, right? It's like yeah, 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 and dodging. Why would you dodge? You're invincible. Why would you just walk at somebody and then just stab them in the face? It's to lose an ear, I guess, and grow up back. I don't know. Or stab me in the boob. I don't care. Yeah, like, do it. like, oh, no, you're stabbing me, and I stab you in the face. Like, Or as it was set up you. earlier that she can turn into bats. Oh, wait, what? Remember? Oh, no. Turning into bats and, like, was attacking the people? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so originally in this scene, there was a, another whole character that they cut. Oh, it was God. a female. I can't remember what she was from, but she was from something. But they cut her, and she was supposed to, I think, die. And just to add some more kind of sadness to it. But they cut her entirely out of this movie, and they CGI a character to stand in for her. Because, <gasps> like, they cut her on the cutting room floor. No. I can't remember who it was, though. Yeah, they, like, this is just a shit show. Connery's like, there's far too many women in this film. It's ruining it. <laughs> You're paying them? Oh my gosh. Look doing? how much we're paying them. This is taking from my money. Pay them, take the, pay them to take clothes off, not on. Hello. I'm going to burn you now. Do, 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 <laughs> Tom Sawyer is the worst. He is right? so he stupid. He's the worst. Yeah, so stupid. He just shoots like stupidly and has like no motivation for anything. I'm here yeah, because just... I'm American. Ugh. God, I don't remember any of this. What was I doing when I was watching this film? Although I was I was on my phone doing research here. This part's boring. This is so boring. All the action is. Where do I go? Terrible. All these books. Like, where, how are you gonna get out of there, dude? That's not how fire works. And and why wasn't the henchman not instructed to not burn what? the books? What just happened? Oh, 
I don't know. Is this place gonna blow oh, up? Oh, I don't know. But oh no, the uh, Skinner Skinner went and stabbed like the pack real quick yeah. and ran off. And now I know, but yeah. that would mean it would like wouldn't it explode because now you're releasing all the gas. I don't. Ron, you're not a chemist, so you wouldn't know. Yeah. Like uh, I'm not. A, you're yeah. right. I'm not a chemist. Yeah. Another is yeah. vampire lady. Yeah. Same. I like how they all bo Ugh. bow up like they're gonna punch this monkey. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and, and then disappear from the frame the next yeah. scene. Yeah. Now this guy doesn't Take drink some shit. vodka. He can't drink yeah, it. Yeah, I, I know, right? Just Spit it out. Like, Spit it fucking out. drink it, asshole. We're even, we're even in college? All right. Also, your eyes would be burning and, like, bleeding. Yeah. I feel yeah, like. It's, it's a, no, because it's water, Dan. That's why. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, no. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it, yeah, I know it's water. It's Bud Light. There's no blood on that there, but there is there this, now. This is the best line. Yeah, I knew I'd nail so you lovely. once. I guess I get to nail you again. So but that wasn't even well, in the heart. That was like in the stomach. And vampire rules don't apply to her dumbass. Like, why do you think that would work? And it's not wooden. I know nothing. That I didn't go through him, but okay. But why would he stop? Like, it doesn't hurt me, right? You broke oh, maybe my it does heart. Hurt. What do you mean you broke my heart? Because you fucked me and then you betrayed me. But you weren't even like a couple. You just fucked like twice. You had sex with me and you never called again. <laughs> you didn't even give me cab fare after you fucked me. I gave you my butt hoe. <laughs> Dude, close your eyes, bitch. What are you doing? Right? Close your eyes, asshole. Yeah, he's like, haha, you can't make me open my eyes. <laughs> or look look above it. Or yeah, I don't know. I think it would have been better too if he didn't scream, if he was just like, ah, oh, finally. Uh, well, it's a death curdling scream. Why wouldn't he be happy to like not be immortal anymore? Because he likes the money and hoes. Mm, boats and hoes. Hello, kitty. <laughs> it's gonna. I cannot rape no Everybody more. Everybody say hi. Why is there a burnt hot dog right there? <laughs> oh my god. It's Skinner. Everybody say hi. My fat cat is in my lap. No one gives a shit. Why would you not just kill him? Hey, uh, shot or not. This was Connery's final acting role because he became so disillusioned with modern filmmaking. True. True or false? Uh, it's false. Not his final film. It is true. It's true. This is his final live action it's role. He did some voice. Oh, yeah, his no, last he, didn't he vo actual... yeah, yeah, he voiced, right? He voiced some like cartoons. Yeah, yeah he did Dragon his last Heart. actual role. Okay. <laughs> yes, he did that, Dragon yes. Heart? He did 1990s <laughs> Dragon Heart after 2003's League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 Imbecile. <laughs> dumb shit. You Why big does Hyde dumb yell shit? Nemo and then he says Nemo run? <laughs> Nemo help! Wait, no, don't help no more! <laughs> run. I'm getting molested. I think you mentioned this, Dan. The, uh, the ADR in this is terrible because I think they just had to come back and do a bunch because they had to make sense of some stuff because I think they went over their budget, oh. they went over their film dates and everything. So I don't think oh, they got everything God. they wanted. It's I don't even door. know how they went over the budget. Wow, how they, how'd you go over budget after paying the first thing is seventeen million to Sean Connery? <laughs> how would you do that, Jesus? And then um, Richard Roxborough apparently said like he knew from the first day of shooting this is going to be like an absolute turd. <laughs> he said like everything started late, no one had an idea what was going on, and just like the, the director was in over his head, so he knew it. But he was like, I want to work with Connery, and unfortunately, this is the last chance. <laughs> The director's yeah. like, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Yeah, the director, Stephen Norrington, didn't even show up to, like, the premiere. Yeah, oh, no, because he and Connery hated each other. So Norrington yeah. didn't go to the premiere, so Con Connery showed up, and they asked him, where is Norrington? And then Connery said something very snarky, like, I don't know, he's doing some whiny shit. I don't know. He's probably, probably crying, crying his in his bathroom, touching his little cock. <laughs> it was something <laughs> along those lines. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, he, Connery hated him. Connery had no... Like fun feelings. Here you go, Shane. Here's your little. <laughs> I think Connery and I would get along. Are you guys getting like video game or like? Yeah, that right there. Flashbacks, did for sure. and this scene looks like Lord of the Rings. Which I'm sorry, Lord of the Rings, but it's like Cave Troll vibes. They've got a Cave Troll. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pay the troll toll. Oh, that was a <laughs> that was a deep. <laughs> that reminded me of Deep Blue Sea right there. 
Where's the, we're, the shark? We're doing sandal. that one. Like this. Yeah, that's right. a fun one. Yeah. That's a really good one too. That'll be your annual shark movie. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it during Shark. Oh week. my God! Yes. Yeah. Our uh, summer? Oh no, maybe it's fall it's shark movie. Yeah. We can watch it. Uh, Tom Jane, Samuel L. and Samuel L. Um, LL Cool J. LL Cool J. That's right. LL Cool J. That's the best part. That one bitch. Every time I say LL Cool J, I think of Water Boy. I think LL Cool J. <laughs> It's fun. Make fun of my stutter, you <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> cool water. <laughs> That's a glass half full. I want to do water, boy. <laughs> you can do it, Dan. I'm not doing that. Let's do it, Dan. You can do it, with Corey. Uh, Corey likes Adam Sandler because he's stupid. Yeah, he did. He did. They did uh, Billy Madison. So I that was the first love water boy. Yeah. Episode I saw. I listened to them. Yeah. I fucking hated it. Those fucking jackasses <laughs> over there. Bigger, dumber podcast. Bigger, dumber. Dicker podcast. <laughs> Work it hard, I make it. Better. We can't insult them, man. I'm trying to get them to swallow this podcast up. <laughs> there, no one's gonna touch us. The ten foot pole. No. The uh, Corey sent me a message and he was showing his analytics for YouTube. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of listens, but they lost subscribers. I'm like, it's our fault. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they probably saw my Twitter. Oh, my God. <laughs> more people listened than ever, and more people fled than ever. <laughs> wait, 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 you're going to check tomorrow? And you're be like, what? they blocked us. They blocked We're us. Never Why? Allowed back I wasn't going to tell you, but they invited me back for tomorrow. I can't because I, <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have engagements, prior engagements, but they invited me back on tomorrow. Oh, no. No. That's Shane. It's weird, huh? But they might have And to that. think I fucking gave them a compliment. Dan, the war is back. <laughs> the war is fucking back. Fuck them. <laughs> you. I tell it because you get so mad because I'm the boring version of this podcast, but I'm also not the fucking like wild card either. <laughs> Those cocksuckers. I'm, uh, you, to think I subscribe to your podcast, you sons of <laughs> bitches. Okay. I think. Oh my god. What are you supposed to watch, huh? Oh, I don't know. I, I didn't get that far because I had I had I had prior prior engagements. I didn't, and I wasn't giving them to do a it. Bitch, you know who's free tomorrow? Yeah. Well, guess what? He didn't ask about you. You, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. He didn't. He didn't ask. I could I'm offer it. Over, I don't I met your agent. Get on social media, asshole. Where are my pistachios? I'm about to eat. This is the stupidest fucking yeah, part this is of the so podcast. Stupid. Just the shoot him. Movie. No, where he makes him like look behind him. Why would he want him to look behind him? Ugh. Because just shoot him and then stab him both. in the back. And what a shot there, Connery. Oh, also, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler. Ah! Yeah, oh my god, that is so far. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep. laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he thinks of a parachute, but he did not deploy a parachute at all. Oh my god, that's amazing. He deployed a cape and cowl. You can do it. Shoot him in the ass. Got him. I was gonna my say, um, you'll be a man, my son. Shoot the man in the back. <laughs> Take your time. Uh, you see Irish. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> he does whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> Hey, why do you have to park so far away? Why can't he drive a little bit closer? So Quarterman can't die in Africa, but he can definitely die in Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> the frozen wasteland of Mongolia. The frozen wasteland. You can't die, yeah, in Kenya, but you can die in fucking Mongolia. I like how he doesn't even have like the sight near his eye at all. He's just like holding it there, like it's a right. It's like boom. no one's ever held the actual gun. That bullet was low. They couldn't even make okay, it look so like it was gonna go high enough. So apparently, according to IMDb, like they were like doing practice shots off the bow of that like that fake ship, mm -hmm. and apparently, like Shane West was like, "My shoulder hurts," and Connery wasn't complaining, so Shane felt like a little bitch. Yeah, of course, he was on the walk to remember. Of so course. they're actually shooting the gun, and Shane West is like, "Ow." Supposedly, maybe it was blanks. I don't know that they're firing something off the bow of the ship, like practicing maybe, but they they kept firing all day, and Shane West was complaining, and Connery was like, "Don't be a pusher." This whole cache is full of women. <laughs> this is fucking bullshit. It's snowing inside. Uh, Sean Connery is probably such a cocksucker. Well, yeah, but he's Sean goddamn Connery. I and know. we respect him for that. Right? Oh, my God. And then we get the African oh. witch doctor that doesn't do anything? In 
He's just no, well, the ending is the, like yeah. the it's end. Like a yeah. he's, he's just in the background the entire time. No one's like, huh? I wonder what that's What's all doing about. over there. Okay, final shot or not? All right. This movie won a record of six Razzies at the 2004 Razzie Awards. True or false? No, false. True? It's false. It wasn't even nominated for any. How? Uh, well, do you want to guess what movie took five Golden Razzies that year? And you don't think you'll guess this, but it's notoriously bad. La 2004. Lady in the Water. No. No. That went no. Uh four? Ooh, backdraft. <laughs> yeah. Uh Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez. <gasps> oh, Jiggly! <gasps> Ooh, glitter! Gigley won like five for like Ben Affleck, oh. worst movie, Jennifer Lopez, Al Pacino, like everyone won for that year. Mm, jiggly. This isn't a, a really bad year. Like there's a lot of terrible things. I think it's also Catwoman too. Oh. A lot Holly, of bad shit. Holly Berry? Yeah. Oh, the there's a lot so. of bad shit this year. So yeah, this movie was forgotten. Like it wasn't. It's. I don't think it's as bad as like those movies. It's. No. It's just like bland bad. Yeah. It's just yeah. Bland. Yeah. I would agree. It's a bland bad. I don't think it's a horribly horrible movie. Of course, not the, the comparison of those others, but like it's just. It's only memorable because we watched it as we we're younger. That looks like Montana. Mm. No, this this uh, was actually filmed in Balta. <laughs> Man, he's got some acne. <laughs> This is her podcast. Holy ma! Fire, fire! Are you gonna do a CGI fire, dude? Yeah, I was thinking Kali Ma too. <laughs> they couldn't afford real fire. Connery's it's buddy. Sad, Sean Connery's yeah. actually dead now, so now he won't come back for the sequel. I know. We're pretty good at uh, doing movies where people died. Yeah, and also really bad know. CGI apparently. Yes. Oh, I was hoping this was gonna end with like a cool like '90s new metal song, but it doesn't. It ends class oh. here. Oh. Imagine, oh, imagine, imagine like fucking corn. I was thinking that too. Corn, that'd be awesome. Something takes a part of me. No be women perfect. on this cast. <laughs> women don't shouldn't have rights. <laughs> Okay, so before we end and get to recommendations, Shane, tomorrow is the Oscars. We were going to do an Oscar podcast, but we don't give a shit. So do you want to give God. me, who do you think is going to win Best Picture tomorrow? All right. All right, give me a second, give me a second. Let, let, let me pull that up. I'll tell you mine, since you're thinking, because I already know mine. Oscar There's days. ten movies, and I've seen half of them, I don't give a shit about the Oscars, so fuck yourself. But I think Power of the Dogs going to win it all, because um, the topic of gay cowboys is pretty big in Hollywood, but it's also a really fucking good movie. So if you've not seen Power of the Dog, it's actually great. So check it out. All Netflix. right. You could um, also ask me too, but that's fine. Dan, who's going to win Best Picture? Best Picture? I haven't seen any film. That's why I didn't ask you. I think the last movie I saw was the Eric Andre movie. Oh, I just saw that too. The <laughs> the, um, the uh, Bad Trip. <laughs> I laughed. Vote. Yeah, it's funny. Um, yeah, it's great. I like Dune. Dune's the best movie. Well, it's not the best movie last year. Pig. Pig was snubbed because fuck that. Because fuck all you people. Fucking but uh, they Dune's kept great. Pig out. They kept Pig out, but yeah. Nightmare Dune's Alley made phenomenal. it, but Pig didn't. Pig yeah, versus Lamb. <laughs> Pig's um, the best movie of last year. I've that's heard like, a lot yeah. of good things yeah. about Belfast, so that's kind of. My mom said Belfast is really good. I I don't give a shit about Kenneth Branagh. I'm gonna say yeah. it doesn't have enough like famous stuff carrying it though. We have the movies, actually. I kind of want to look. I don't up. know. I don't like, think I've seen any of them. I've Korean media, Miller. Korean film usually takes everything, but Drive My Car oh, yeah. is a Japanese. Film. I don't know. West Side Story is out there, and, and people won't shut the fuck up about West Side Story. What? No. They they remade Ew, it? Really? They remade it, and it has the most Oscar noms. It's just like it's annoying as shit. King Richard. Yeah. Right. Isn't that weird? I, I think they went for um, the usual reason why this list sucks yeah it's not all oh, this it's, list is part of the dog's great dune's great there's some good ones on there house of gucci mm. oh that we watched that the other night it's so bad it's is so it really? fucking bad it's hilarious like I, the uh, acting is I, terrible i uh every time i like i see a picture of okay. jared leto i just laugh i've got Dude, my pick. he's so fucking funny like it's so bad and everyone's like lady gaga got snubbed she's bad Lady Gaga is not a bad actress, but she is bad in that movie. The Vada's son in the house of Gucci. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. It's great. Okay, it's not then, worth I'm gonna go. Though. I'm gonna go Belfast for best picture. 
okay. going wild there. I'm going to go Andrew Garfield and Tick, Tick, Boom for Andrew. Best Actor. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I and seen, best heard about that. Actress. Boy, really shitty. Man, these credits um, are much I'm going to go uh, Nicole Kidman being the Ricardos. Ew. I know I didn't like it either, but, you know, it's a Hollywood movie about Hollywood, and Hollywood always loves to fucking suck that up. Yeah, Aaron um, Sorkin could get a little good lick a dick. Yeah. Uh, of course, Licorice Pizza is nominated. I heard it's really picture. good. I haven't seen it yet. I heard it's well, it, of course, it has to be nominated. Yeah. yeah so, but those are, but those are my win. picks. It won't win. We will see. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, I'm going to start with our guest. Dan, thanks for joining us. Would you recommend The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Uh, this is kind of tough. I don't. Yeah, probably not. Okay. <laughs> 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 no, Thanks, like. Dude. I, I remember watching this on cable like like dozens of times. Like it's it's boring, it's bland. Put it in the background if you're gonna like clean something. I don't know. Um, I, I think we mentioned like previous like throughout this podcast. Like it, if they remade it, they could make it so much better. If made it R and different like actors that actually like one if if one of them is getting paid seventeen million, it probably would help. But still, <laughs> like no, nah, uh, no, nah, I wouldn't recommend it. Fuck it, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Appreciate Thanks. the, um, Riveting. the spark of enthusiasm. You're welcome. Oh, Shane, uh, what would you recommend? The League <laughs> of Extraordinary Gentlemen. No, this movie's boring. I want to watch the uh, like the, do the documentary. Of the Ooh, a Lucas of it. film. Oh, okay. Yeah, ILM. That's what I want to watch. Like the behind the scenes. Yeah, that would be a better movie. More. Uh, uh... Sean Connery, Sean Connery begged uh, Steve, Steven to punch him in the face. We'll make a movie kind of like how, uh, like the Disaster Artist, but it'll be about the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and we'll call it the League of Extraordinary mm. Assholes. <laughs> the League of Extraordinary Mooseports would be awesome. There we go. <laughs> there we go. The Mooseport Revival. Ronnie, would you recommend this movie? Hey, yeah, Ronnie, I, I was going to say that. <laughs> Ah, fuck you guys, whatever. All right, I was so going I, to, fuck off. Oh, yeah, well, thanks, Dan. Want to ask me? Want to set it up? To think I didn't eat anything this entire podcast, and I'm starving. <laughs> I am starving. <laughs> Ron, hey, Ron, would you recommend this movie? How about that? No, uh, this is fun for us to podcast together and revisit it, but like you said, yeah. you did a lot of research because it's fucking fascinating. It's really, really fun to know the behind the scenes. I think the biggest issue is the plot, and there's no character development, but... It's a good concept that was mismanaged by a director who was in over his head. Yeah, it'd okay. be good. Um, it'd be good, like Amazon Prime or like um, Netflix, like uh, at eight episode series. Like yeah, Netflix is art, doing sure. a, a a run of the Salmon, which is my favorite graphic novel of all time. And I'm like the I Salmon, the Sand, the sea, the Seaman, the sa the Sandman, uh, Sandman. <clears throat> excuse me, Sand and people. And if that does well, then maybe they'll look into doing this one again. Okay. Now it comes time to the podcast where our dear, dear friend Shane is going to tell us what movie we'll be watching next for our next commentary trip. I never prepared when it is time to do this. I always We forget. never do. I have but, um, Wait, hold on. I, hold on. I want to... Th I think you mentioned it in the previously, Shane. I'm going to guess maybe. Hold on. In my head. All right. The yeah, iTunes Music be. Store. Soundtrack available. Go. Oh, my God. Where's my list um, of doom? Son of Africa. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, bam, bam, oh, wait, that's the wrong <laughs> list. No, those are the best movies ever made, apparently. Uh, no, no. God. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Becoming the London London. So no animal was harmed in the making of this film. No animal, but not have an animal. Except that actor, Sean Connery. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, there's, there's my file. In everyone's career, that's not Sean Connery. I don't Connery. think I've seen a lot of Sean Connery movies. I've seen The Untouchables. All right. The List of Doom. I've seen The Highlander. I've only seen parts. I don't think I've seen... Hey, Holy Shane, Christ. just so you... This is a, an off-the-topic thing here. Mm -hmm. it's, if we, we, we're getting, like, no additional subscribers and listeners, so we might want to take a popular movie. Maybe get some more traction. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a second. You don't have to. We can always do a glass half full and popular things or do our other um, thing too, but what we're if... not, we're Come losing. on, Ron. You gotta stick to your roots. So, our roots are so not I working. guess so I guess Matilda's out. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That's a popular movie. Um Ooh. 
Do whatever you want to, man. This is your call. Oh, how about this? Okay. I I'm going to do it. We'll see your reaction, and I'm going to do another one and see your reaction. Okay, ready? Sounds good. My dick's out. And the movie we're going to watch is Sleepy Hollow. So the big demo, we just did one on that one. But okay. I do, I do, and the, the movie. I would do it because it's a good October movie, though. We'll save it. All right. And the movie we're going to watch is... Owen Wilson and Eddie Murphy and I spy. God damn you! <laughs> fuck you! Oh, <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Speak at Prague. It got me. I was like, "Oh, Prague." Okay. Do you really you want serious? to do I Spy? Yeah. Then Are you fine, serious? We'll do I Spy. We, we don't do comedies. Let's with do Antonio a comedy Banderas. Yeah, then... sh we should do is Showtime. Oh, Showtime. What is Showtime? I Spy has Antonio Banderas. Yeah, is he the villain, or is he? He's like the like the the boss. Antonio Banderas is not in that movie, you idiot. Is that not Antonio Banderas? Oh my god! Is Darren Shavlovy and Gary Cole? I am. You fucking racist. racist. So, so join us next time when we watch I Spy, not starring Antonio god. Banderas. No wonder you're not getting new sus subscribers. If you fucking pick I Spy. I do enjoy Eddie Murphy. <laughs> and he says God, the line, the I'd be like 009 and a half. <laughs> oh my God. So, uh, we're still here. Thank you for... Thank you for uh, listening. Please subscribe. Dick. Follow us. Enjoy. Oh, why did, we appreciate it. Why did it. I not choose Titan AE? What is that? I should have chosen it's, it's an animated one. Do you want to do that one? Let's do Titan AE. Yeah, fuck I Spy. We're not doing that shit. We're going to watch Titan AE. Yeah, yeah, that's very popular. That's a that's a that's a mainstream movie too. Good job, Shane. S starring Matt Damon. Okay, so then I guess delete all of this, Ronnie, while you're editing. <laughs> no, keep it in. Keep the listeners, <laughs> keep the listeners on okay. the shows. Okay. Thank you. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, the, the, also, doesn't help you say "fuck off" at the end of every single podcast, too. They're your your two fans. I'll suck your dick for a cheeseburger. Is that good? <laughs> you know what? We didn't get in this for subscribers. I hope you all unsubscribe, you cocksuckers. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want you. I don't need you. Play the music, Brian. Oh. Go on, uh, get. Get. <laughs>I'm recording here. Hold on, let me get my booze. Wait, who's Echo? I'm recording. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I, uh, I put the notebook. itinerary notes. in the chat there. So we don't forget. Right. So we forget oftentimes. Let's make sure my, my input is good. Oh, wow, that's nice. That's perfect. Oh, is it good? Is it fucking good? It's fucking great. Oh my fucking god. Dude, I'm so upset that my stupid... Audio was so bad for that. Yeah, you for... sounded like a fucking potato. <laughs> <laughs> I pra pra I checked mine today. I killed it, though. I should probably check it again. Oh, my God. Your <laughs> guys is yeah. freaking... Um, uh, last podcast that came out yesterday? Jesus, that was a shit show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were... We're, I think this is the first time that I was more drunk than that Shane. That was my favorite was so part. Fucking... Is you can track when Ronnie gets too drunk. Like, he yeah. starts off, he's kind of <laughs> yeah. quiet, he makes snarky remarks, and by the end, he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, screaming and, and like, slurring, and so He's just like, he's a Jew! <laughs> he's a god! <laughs> god, I think, and I think Ronnie had more bleeps than Shane, that one. Yeah. Too. Uh, yeah, it's because we were drinking all day, well, and, and I couldn't remember what you called podcast. Demi Moore, you're like... Yeah. You kept going, bleep, Demi Moore. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> it was. No. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> and then the best one was he's like, yeah, it's like Sarah Palin, but with less. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> That's funny. Wasted Potential Podcast is brought to you by. Hi, I'm Steampunk Stanford of the Steampunk Stanford Steampunk Station Emporium. 
Here at the Steampunk Station in Emporium, we have so much steampunk stuff that we simply don't know what to do with it. I guess cosplay? Design a creepy room for a teenager that will ultimately get on a school? Ah, fuck. <laughs> Design a creepy room? Fucking shit. Is that a creepy room for a teenager that will ultimately get them in school? <laughs> Steampunk Dan God, can't damn stop stuttering. That's Stanley. Is that a st God damn it? it sounds like a personal problem. There's a lot of S's. Fucking shit. <laughs> Is that a creepy room for a teenager that will ultimately get them on a school shooter watch list? Or uh, lead art designer for a video game company? <laughs> well, come on down and take a look at our metal hats. Bras di- br Fucking shit balls. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even asked, there was a dildo. It wasn't, just a- I'm just a drunk. I'm not gonna lie, I'm- I'm out on this product. Well, come on down and take a look at our metal hats, bronze dildos, rusted silver spoons, titanium spikes for toddlers, and other nightmare trash. The only thing that could defeat him is the shashi ash. <laughs> God damn it. Hello, I'm Sean Connery, and I'm here on the Witch Potential Podcast to talk about my new party. Are you sick of dirty liberals and women? So am I. <laughs> Are you sick of movies that don't have me? Oh, well, I'm not. So. You're probably asking yourself, why am I on this shitty podcast? Well, I'll tell you. I'm Sean Connery, and I'm running for president. President of the League of Extraordinary Masson. What the fuck am I saying? I don't Dude, he's dead. <laughs> oh, God, I knew it. I knew it. I told my wife he was dead, and she's like, he's not dead. And I'm like, he's fucking dead. Uh, Google it. He's dead. Oh. Well, fuck, how is he gonna run for president? Well, we don't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna make that joke. Nope, that's staying in. Current president's already dead. Okay, g give me a second. Dad, you, you make an intro. God, my time is so valuable here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> try again in a second. How do you wanna do one at the end? Oh, I, I got it. Okay, go ahead. No, he's not running for vice president, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> running for Congress. <laughs> <laughs> the next Supreme Court sheet. Well, now that I... I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of uh, really funny that you didn't know he was dead. It kind of makes it perfect. We're wasting <laughs> a podcast and we're broke. Send money. I don't know. <laughs> this is why a uh, big dumb movie doesn't do ads. We could, we could do Twitter. <laughs> Or does a modicum of research? Big dumb dipshits. Yeah, <laughs> fucking jackasses. Do you want to do another one, or you wait to the yeah, end? I'll wait to the end. Maybe I'll come up with something. Yeah. These damn goddamn cats she's are pulling been, string out like, of them. Oh, you're, oh god, dude, you should have seen the string in my cat's ass. That thing was insane. Was it a hair or a string? No, it was yarn. Motherfucker ate <sighs> yarn, and I like it was hanging out his asshole, and I'm like, what the fuck? So I like you get yarn. Obviously, you heard the the play by play, but yeah, I. Uh, I pulled it out and it kept coming. It was like a good six inches of string. That was wonderful. I I like I was, I I was listening to it at work. I almost started like dying of laughter, like out loud. I'm just like, like actually what the actually LOLing. <laughs> I think our podcast is only funny to us because oh, for it for sure is. I I, I re I re re listened to a couple of them because it's so fucking funny. Dude, I laugh my ass off, but I think everyone else listening goes, huh? <laughs> yeah, and I listened to the Big Dumb Movie podcast, the Face Off twice too. That makes me laugh so much oh, too. Because it's it's funny for me because I I know the both of you. Yeah, that's why. I it, know, and I just picture you two actually like saying it like in person. Just get drunk and be <laughs> shoot the kid quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Uh, uh, I'm ready when you guys are. All right, so he does a, right. he does a minute work reference here. I come from a land down under. All right. Wait, are, are we, we playing? We started? All right, no, no, no. Three. Oh, okay. Two. One. Go. <laughs> <laughs>